Chapter 541 Life Fate Pill Formula Translator Born to be its, its, the Life Fate Pill Formula Long Chen almost jumped in joy, and even his voice trembled. Examining his memories, he noticed the pill formula had appeared, and it was precisely the pill formula he needed the most. He could only condense the Life Fate Star through Life Fate Pills. At that time, with three stars, he wouldn't even need to be afraid of Celestials. The three-star battle armor combined with the Divine Ring would definitely be able to block a portion of the Heavenly Deo's suppression. He didn't need it to completely resist them. If just a portion was blocked, then Long Chen had the confidence to kill Yun Wusheng. That was Long Chen's confidence in himself. Within the same realm, no one could suppress him, not even Celestials. Right now, he had already advanced to Meridian Opening, and so he was no longer so weak in terms of realm. Once he opened new Meridians, his body would once more go through a complete transformation. Nine Netherworld Grass, Heavenly Star Nectar, Flowerless Azure Fruit. Long Chen listed off a total of 108 precious medicinal ingredients. Nice. There are no medicinal ingredients like the Killin Fruit. He felt a heavy burden being lifted from his shoulders. Within the primal chaos space, he already had over half of those ingredients. As for the ones he didn't have, there were only a few that were comparatively rare. Furthermore, although those were very rare, they weren't as abnormal as the Killin Fruit, nor almost extinct. He might not have them right now, but he wasn't worried. With the Huai insect on his side, that wouldn't even be a problem. Long Chen was incomparably excited now. He had an urge to immediately return to the monastery and contact the Huai insect so he could refine the life fate pills. However, seeing the endless grassland around him, that thought died. He didn't even know how far he had gone, and after so much fleeing, he didn't even know which direction he was at in relation to the monastery. It wasn't as if he could just return according to his old path. What if the Yun family was waiting for him? He suppressed his excitement. Things had to be taken step by step, or if you panicked, it would be all too easy for things to go wrong. In the end, he decided to focus on healing here. While recovering, he would open his new meridians. Once he was recovered, he would see if he could find a city nearby. Long Chen summoned his divine ring and urged on the plants in the primal chaos bead. As he made them grow, he also extracted a portion of their life energy to help himself recover. Ten days later, he had finally recovered by 30%. Although he still wasn't capable of having an intense battle, he had already reached the goal he had set for himself. The obvious and severe injuries were already recovered. It was simply the imprint of the heavenly deos that was still present. If he fought with others, that imprint would immediately activate, worsening his injuries. But right now, he didn't need to fight. He just needed to urge on the primal chaos space and then begin to open his meridians. This so-called meridian opening referred to creating new meridians once the physical body reached a strong enough level. When cultivators started cultivating, their spiritual key moved in their body through their meridians. But once they reached the meridian opening realm, they needed to abandon those old meridians and create a new set of meridians. The meridian opening realm was the final realm in Haoshan level, which also built the final foundation before stepping into the Xianchen realm. That was why it was necessary to create new meridians. These new meridians required ki, blood, tendons, and bones to work together. That was why ki condensation, blood condensation, tendon transformation, and bone forging were all in preparation for the meridian opening realm. Using bones as the foundation, tendons as the channel, blood as the guide, and ki as the support, cultivators would create new channels for spiritual ki. These channels were used for storing Xi'anchen ki, and so they needed to be sturdier and wider than ever. Otherwise, once you reached the Xi'anchen realm, when you used your Xi'anchen spiritual key to attack, your meridians would explode before your attack could even come out. Right now, Long Chen had to focus his spiritual key into his meridians and create channels through his bones, connecting all his bones. For an ordinary meridian opening expert, that was something impossible to do. They could only form their new channels outside of their bones. Creating the channels within the bones was a right reserved for those who had undergone complete tempering. For Long Chen, who had used a bone connecting pill at the very start to undergo complete tempering, this was as easy as turning a hand. After creating this connection, the next step was to use key to draw blood into the channels. Once the blood entered a channel, it would form a membrane over that channel. That would be the new meridian. This process was very easy, but it was extremely slow. You had to be especially cautious at the beginning, as the newly formed meridians were unable to endure too much pressure. 
Long Chen used a full day to complete this process. However, he still hadn't truly entered the meridian opening realm Novaloon.com now. He needed to spend each day pouring his blood key into the new meridians. Furthermore, he couldn't pour in too much at a time. He had to keep it just beneath the limit of what the meridians could endure. He could only increase the strength as the meridians adapted. It was like blowing a balloon. He had to push it to its max but not let it explode. Furthermore, his blood key would not just widen the meridians. It would also nourish them, making them tougher. For ordinary meridian opening experts, they were only able to enlarge their meridians three times. After undergoing complete tempering, the limit was usually eight times. But Long Chen had already completed that process ten times now, and he still hadn't reached the limit. This was a good thing, as his meridians were only growing stronger, capable of enduring more of his power. When the new meridians were complete, cultivators would abandon their old meridians, transferring all their spiritual key to the new meridians. At the same time, they would also pour in a portion of their essence blood into the meridians. Only then would the meridian opening process be complete. When the spiritual key fully entered the meridians, a person's aura would rapidly grow, like a small creek that suddenly became a vast river. Within the new meridians, as the spiritual key and essence blood merged, they would form a bloodline energy. That kind of bloodline energy didn't have any use when cultivators fought. However, it had an even more important use than fighting. Their ancestral line, the children of those who had reached the meridian opening realm would inherit a portion of their bloodline energy. Thus, in the cultivation world, excellent people gave birth to excellent children. As a person's cultivation base grew higher and beyond the meridian opening realm, the bloodline energy their descendants would receive would become stronger. If it was a bloodline of a supreme expert, then their descendants would be able to activate a bloodline pressure. That was the same as what Yun Wusheng had done. But while both Yun Wusheng and Yun Wushuang possessed the same ancestor, the purity of their bloodlines was different. When Yun Wushuang used her bloodline suppression, it was unable to do anything to Long Chen. But Yun Wusheng was able to make him feel like his blood would freeze. That was the difference. Oh, there are people here. Long Chen suddenly looked towards a certain direction. Although no one was visible yet, Long Chen's divine sense could sense a group of people rapidly approaching. Little Snow, you should rest in the spiritual space for now. After putting Little Snow away, Long Chen waited for a moment and then dozens of figures appeared in the distance. It seemed they were rushing towards this particular lake. Long Chen looked around carefully, and only then did he notice there were quite a few marks in the distance, and he immediately realized something. Hmm? There's someone here. They finally noticed Long Chen. When they got closer, Long Chen saw they were a group of youngsters who had just reached their twenties. The person at the front was a lively and pretty woman. However, he was a bit surprised to see they were all meridian opening experts. It was truly rare to see such young meridian opening experts. As for the woman at the front, her bloodline energy had been condensed to an extremely high level. That was a sign her cultivation base had already reached the peak of meridian opening, and her spiritual key was starting to transform into Xi'anchen power. In other words, this woman might break through to the Xi'anchen realm at any moment. I didn't expect to run into a group of young experts here. Looks like I really am a frog in a well. Long Chen couldn't help but mock himself. He had always thought his own cultivation speed was already fast enough. He hadn't expected to run into a young half-step Xi'anchen expert here. Hey, brat, how are you here all by yourself? Asked a man with an arrogant air. Most likely, seeing Long Chen on his own and with such a weak aura, he looked down on him. Well said, well said. It seems I really am all by myself. Long Chen laughed. That person was first startled, but then seeing Long Chen's wicked smile. He immediately understood he was cursing them as not being human. Brat, looks like you need a beating. That person was infuriated and was just about to charge forward. Shang Wu, don't be rude, shouted the woman leading them. That woman took a few steps forward and carefully examined Long Chen. She saw he was covered in dirt as well as some blood. Overall, he appeared extremely wretched. And yet, his eyes were still completely calm. Almost unfathomably so. Long Chen gave her a very odd feeling. But as for what specifically was odd, she was unable to say. Did you run into some troubles? She asked. Yes, I came out to hunt, but a group of bastards attacked me. As a result, I had to flee, separating from my companions and ended up lost. I really was incredibly unlucky, sighed Long Chen. Making up nonsense was definitely one of his specialties. But he also felt that this woman might be able to bring him out of this place to a city. 
Senior apprentice sister, don't listen to this brat's rubbish. He's lying. Shang Wu hastily cried out. Chapter 542 Muxu Mercenary Unit Translator. Born to be this brat's definitely not a good person. Senior apprentice sister, don't be fooled. Seeing that this woman seemed extremely interested in Long Chen, Shang Wu cried out. Oh, you know how to read faces. Long Chen looked at Shang Wu oddly. The woman couldn't help laughing. Even the other two maidens in their group covered their mouths and stealthily laughed. You, you, you clearly aren't a good person. With your gigolo looks, who do you think you can trick? Raged Zhang Wu. In truth, after continuous battles, Long Chen was covered in blood and dust. His face was completely covered, with only his two starry eyes revealed. And yet, even though only his eyes were revealed, he still gave off a handsome feeling that raised Zhang Wu's guard. The majority of this group was men and they all dreamed of becoming lovers with the woman leading them. She possessed the highest cultivation base of them all, and she was also beautiful like a flower. How could they let a stranger swoop in? Long Chen easily saw through that, especially when seeing that the other men were also looking at him fierily. He couldn't help laughing inside. What are you smiling about? You're definitely smiling because you're guilty, and are trying to think of some way to trick us, raged Zhang Wu. Now Long Chen really couldn't help but laugh. He gave Zhang Wu a thumbs up. Amazing. Truly amazing. You really do possess an all-seeing mind. You've even managed to see through my every single thought. Sir must truly be an amazing person. He, of course. Brat, running into me is your bad luck. There's no one that can lie in front of me. Zhang Wu, just hearing Long Chen's praise, Zhang Wu became insufferable. It seemed he didn't hear Long Chen's sarcasm. The others looked oddly at Zhang Wu, seeming to want to say something. But in the end, they decided to remain silent, looking up at the sky as if they were unrelated to him. Zhang Wu, stop embarrassing yourself. Can I ask if you need any help? The woman asked Long Chen. In the beginning, she had also been on guard against Long Chen, but after just a few words from him, she felt he was different from others. His aura was clearly exceedingly weak, and he should be heavily injured right now. However, his words were spoken so naturally and without any fear. Furthermore, his eyes were frighteningly calm. They were more than capable of killing Long Chen, but he didn't seem to feel the slightest bit of fear or unease. He actually still joked and laughed. Just that kind of bearing showed he wasn't an ordinary person. Having determined he wasn't ordinary, she became very curious about him. She wanted to help him out, which would count as sowing good karma. I truly do need help. I'm lost and want to know how far the closest city is, and which direction it should be. If you can tell me, I'll definitely thank you generously. Long Chen cupped his fists. TCH, it seems you've misunderstood. You don't even know the reputation of our Muxu mercenary unit. Do we look like those kind of people who only help others to benefit ourselves? You think we care about your damn money, roared Zhang Wu. At the same time, Long Chen noticed the other's expressions had also sunk. It seemed his last sentence had hurt their self-respect. I think you've misunderstood. Although we are a mercenary unit, we have our own pride. Your words are a bit hard to take, said the woman icily. Sorry, it was my mistake. I suppose I just don't have this amazing person's vision, and I can't read faces. Please don't blame me, laughed Long Chen. Long Chen truly hadn't imagined that in the scheming cultivation world, there was actually such a group of upright people. Only now did their expressions improve. The woman smiled slightly. Let me introduce myself. I am Mu Zhu. After saying that, she held out her hand. Startling Long Chen slightly, the etiquette of shaking hands was usually reserved for men with men, but since she had initiated it, he wouldn't feel right declining. He magnanimously shook her hand. Long Chen's etiquette was extremely well done. He only lightly held her hand, and he only used his fingers for the handshake, as that was the proper etiquette for noble women. Of course, that wasn't for him to display how noble he was, but because holding her entire hand would make him feel a bit like he was taking advantage of her. I'm Long Chen. Hesitating first, Long Chen decided to give her his real name. Long Chen? That sounds a bit familiar. I think I've heard it somewhere. Mu Zhu frowned. Perhaps it's just that my name is too ordinary, and many people have the same name, laughed Long Chen. That's true. Most cultivators like to be lofty and come up with a name that can intimidate their opponents. Mu Zhu also laughed. With just a few words, Long Chen found that this Mu Zhu truly had the style of a leader. Her words were not at all artificial, allowing a person to feel comfortable around her. It was no wonder she had become this group's leader. Just now, 
He had heard them call themselves the Muxu Mercenary Unit. It seemed it was named after her. Perhaps it was because my mom wanted me to grow up into an ordinary person, said Long Chen. But a trace of sadness flashed within his eyes. He thought of those lines on the jade pendant. The dragon roars at the heavens, looking down arrogantly on the mortal world of dust. Live peacefully and happily, never to be parted. The first line was domineering and haughty, while the last line was warm and pampering. They were the hopes his father and mother had for him. But not long after he was born, his spirit root, spirit blood, and spirit bone had been taken away. He didn't know just how heartbroken his parents were to have lost him. Thinking of that, he felt like blades were piercing his heart. So many years had passed. He had no idea whether his biological parents were still alive. He, Long Chen, this name really is ordinary. Look at my name, Shang Wu, the very manifestation of the Martial Dao. That's really domineering. One, Shang Wu's voice broke Long Chen's concentration. He saw him puffing out his chest proudly as if he had beaten him. I feel like your name is still a bit lacking. If you changed the Wu to Lang, it would definitely be more domineering, said another member of their unit. Shang Lang? How is that domineering? Shang Wu muttered it a few times. He then suddenly realized what it meant and charged at that person. Shang Lang. Too really is a domineering name. Haha. <laughs> that person hastily dodged. Not facing Shang Wu head on. Stop it already. Where is your decorum? Aren't you afraid of being laughed at by others? Mu Zhu shouted. Her expression sinking. Shang Wu and that person immediately stopped messing around and didn't say another word. They all felt great respect for Mu Zhu. Sorry. I've made brother Long laugh at us. Apologized Mu Zhu. Long Chen shook his head. What are you talking about? You're all magnanimous and free people. The fact that they can act so unconstrained just means they're real men. Shang Wu was surprised to hear Long Chen say that about himself. He felt like Long Chen's gigolo face was no longer so displeasing to look at. Everyone, don't just keep standing there. Hurry up and set up the tents. It's rare for us to get such a relaxing day. We should all take a good rest, said Mu Zhu. Only then did everyone start getting to work, taking out tents and beds from their spatial rings. Brother Long, this area is a wild land, without any civilization for thousands of miles. Furthermore, even if I tell you the direction to the closest city, there are high mountains and long rivers that will block your path, and it'll be too easy for you to get lost. It'd be better for you to stick with us for now. Once we finish our mission, we can bring you back to King's House City. At that time, it will be much more convenient for you, advised Mu Zhu. King's How? This place is within King Prefecture, asked Long Chen. Yes, this place is considered part of King Prefecture. If you travel south for a few weeks, you'll arrive at Su Prefecture, said Mu Zhu. Damn, that bastard Yun Wusheng really knows how to chase someone. He actually chased me across prefectures. Then can I ask what your mission is? Or is that taboo? If it is. I can wait for you here so I don't inconvenience you, said Long Chen. There's nothing to boo about it. We came out this time because of a mission from the mercenary guild. There's someone who wants to buy a certain magical beast's core for a high price, but the core must be fresh. We came out to hunt down a Xianshan magical beast. Xianshan. Long Chen was startled. Yes, Xianshan. However, it's only in the early Xianshan realm. It's actually quite lucky. A year ago. We were coming by here when we noticed it. Back then, we weren't strong enough and so we didn't attack it. But now someone wants that kind of magical beast's core, and our own strength has advanced a great deal. So this time, we're planning on killing it, said Mu Zhu. Long Chen suddenly understood why there had been marks in the distance. Those marks had probably been left behind by these people. Most likely, they often came by here to rest. This lake region is safe. It's right on the edge between the territories of two Xianshan magical beasts. Other magical beasts sense the pressure from them and don't dare come here. This is the best place to set up camp. We need to rest here for a bit to keep ourselves in our peak condition in preparation to kill that magical beast. Explained Mu Zhu. Is the magical beast you're targeting one of those two? Asked Long Chen. Yes. Our target is called the Hidden Ground Spider. It'll probably be a bitter battle. Sighed Mu Zhu worriedly. The hidden ground spider's crystal core is a rarely seen dark attribute. It's the main ingredient used in refining the Nine Revolution Dao Heart Pill, and it truly does need to be fresh. The crystal core will lose its energy three months after the magical beast's death. It seems your buyer wants to refine pills, muttered Long Chen. You understand alchemy? asked Mu Zhu with shock. A bit, laughed Long Chen. However, 
It'll probably be very dangerous for the few of you to handle the hidden ground spider. I know, but we owe the buyer a great debt. Since they urgently need the hidden ground spider's crystal core, we need to pay back the favor, said Mu Zhu. Can I ask who you owe this favor to? Are they worth you risking your lives? Asked Long Chen. This crystal core is something the junior gate master of Mo Gate, Mo Nian, requires. So we have to get it for him, sighed Mo Zhu. Mo Nian. Chapter 543 Hidden Ground Spider Translator, Born to Be You, and Mo Nian, Are You? Long Chen felt it was a bit inconceivable. Where did your thoughts stray? It's not like that at all. Mu Zhu was a bit resentful. Our Mu Xu mercenary unit was very weak when we were first established. We were always suppressed by the other powers. During that time, our unit almost completely collapsed. However, those people still didn't let up, forcing us to the brink of despair. It was Mo Gate who couldn't bear to see that happen and warned our enemies that in the next three years, they were not allowed to do anything to us. Without Mo Gate, we'd have been destroyed before ever maturing. So we owe Mo Gate a great debt. It was Mo Gate who made the request to the Mercenary Guild, causing them to create this mission for the Hidden Ground Spider's Core. Furthermore, it is extremely urgent. I've heard it's something they're preparing for their junior gate master, Mo Nian. Mo Gate has treated us with kindness, but Mo Gate is too large and we don't even have the qualifications to return the favor. This is our only chance to repay them. So no matter what, we have to obtain the hidden ground spider's core. Long Chen understood now. These people were all open and candid. They didn't like owing favors, but it was impossible for them to repay Mo Gate's favor. That was a constant knot in their hearts. So even though this hidden ground spider was extremely powerful, and this mission was extremely dangerous, their honor did not allow them to turn back. That made Long Chen feel a kind of respect for them. Within the cultivation world, where schemes and inner strife were everywhere, where it was either you deceive me or I deceive you, such people had already almost gone extinct. In truth, you should have given this information to Mo Gate, and Mo Gate would have sent several Xi'anshan experts to fight with you. Wouldn't that be much easier? Why must you risk this danger? Asked Long Chen. There are two reasons we came to attack it on our own. The first is that we noticed the hidden ground spider a year ago, but the hidden ground spider often switches territories, so no one can be sure whether or not it will still be there. The second is that Mo Gate has now offended the pill tower, and the pill tower has stopped selling medicinal pills to them. Furthermore, it seems there are people targeting Mo Nian from behind the scenes Novaloon.com other than Mo Gate. King Prefecture has three powerful sects. They stood up to publicly challenge Mo Gate at the same time beginning to fight with them over King Prefecture's natural resources. Right now, Mo Gate is in an extremely disadvantageous position and is very busy. Otherwise, they wouldn't have asked the mercenary guild to set up this mission. Sighed Mu Zhu. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Was the pill tower trying to show their prestige? After being cut by the Huaian sect, they raised their own blade against Mo Gate, cutting them off from medicinal pills. Furthermore, now those other sects were fighting against Mo Gate. That would sever Mo Gate not only from the medicinal pills, but from all their other resources. They really were vicious. As for the three large sects Mu Zhu mentioned, Long Chen did have some impression of them. Back in the Jiuli secret realm, Mo Nian had been entangled by three powerful experts. It seemed they were very familiar with each other, and they should have each come from their own powerful sect but in the end, two of those experts had been cut down. While the last one's situation was something he wasn't aware of because the battle had been too chaotic. He really hadn't expected the three huge sects to challenge Mo Gate now. It was without a doubt that there was a powerful backer behind them, and the power supporting them was very likely the Pill Tower. Recently, the Pill Tower had lost all their prestige because of the Huaian sect now. It seemed they were planning on using Mo Gate to retrieve that prestige and warn the other sects of their power. Definitely looking to die, said Long Chen lightly. Whether or not we're looking to die, we still have to pay back our favor especially now that Mo Gate is in such an urgent state. We can only do this much. Mu Zhu bitterly smiled. I'm not talking about you. Long Chen shook his head. Although my own combat strength is the weakest of everyone here, I know a great deal about magical beasts' habits and characters. I can probably help you a bit. Really Mu Zhu was a bit startled. Yes, I often have to deal with brutes and animals, so I'm very familiar with them. This time, I was chased down miserably by a group of brutes. So don't worry, this is my specialty, laughed Long Chen. Senior apprentice sister, we've set up the tents and food. One of the women ran over. Good, then we should eat. Long Chen, 
I don't want to wrong you. So how about you change into our clothes too? Otherwise, it'll feel odd, said Mu Zhu. Long Chen was currently wearing blue robes, while they were all wearing black training clothes. He truly did stand out. Other than that, he was also covered in dust and blood. However, although he had all kinds of various things in his spatial ring, he didn't have an extra set of robes for himself. Then I'll have to thank you. Long Chen naturally wouldn't refuse. This woman took out a new set of clothes for him. Your face is a bit dirty. Let sister help you clean up a bit. I'll also tidy up your hair. The woman suddenly brazenly pulled Long Chen over to the lakeside. Hey, this is a bit inappropriate. Long Chen really hadn't expected this woman to be so direct. You two hurry up. Don't make us wait too long. Called out Mu Zhu. An incense sticks worth of time later. Long Chen was wearing their black clothes. And his face had also been cleaned up. When he entered the tent. Everyone was startled. As they no longer even recognized him. Oh. How handsome. The other woman in the squad couldn't help letting out a startled cry. Long Chen's sword like eyebrows framed his starry eyes and a special aura came from his body that possessed an extremely fatal attraction to women. More importantly, the other men here all had bulky builds, which made his regular build even more eye-catching. As soon as he entered, everyone's gazes landed on him. The other woman's arm was wrapped around his, and her immensely pleased expression made him feel very unnatural. Sit. Muzu quickly recovered and pointed to a seat. About that, I see there are a lot more wine over there. I think I'll sit with those brothers instead. That way it'll be more convenient for me to drink. Otherwise, I really would feel a bit unwilling. Long Chen smiled. His words caused those two women to be a bit disappointed. But Mu Zhu nodded with approval. Long Chen clearly wasn't a thoughtless person. Haha, <laughs> brother Long Chen. Quick, come over. Come, let's properly drink. Long Chen's actions also won him the good opinion of quite a few others. Long Chen wasn't afraid of anything. But he did feel that as a person. It was best not to be so ostentatious. Furthermore, he had no romantic feelings for these three. So there was no need to provoke anyone. Haha, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Long Chen cupped his fists and sat down next to that person. There was a large, circular table in the middle of over 20 people. The table was filled with wine and meat. It was very rich. And just seeing it made Long Chen's stomach rumble. To tell the truth, he hadn't eaten anything in the past few days. So seeing all this laid out before him made him stealthily gulp down his saliva. I have a good announcement to make. Brother Long Chen has temporarily joined our Muxu mercenary unit to help us handle the hidden ground spider. Announced Mu Zhu. Haha. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Don't worry Brother Long. When the time to handle the hidden ground spider comes. Stand by my side and I'll protect you. Shang Wu patted Long Chen on the shoulder grandly. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Shang Wu's cultivation base was only at the mid-meridian opening realm. Just what did he plan on using to protect him? It was unknown just who would be protecting who. This place is a safe zone. We don't need any guards tonight. Just eat and drink as much as you want. After rushing for nearly a month, I'm sure you're all a bit tired. So just relax today so that you'll be in your peak condition for tomorrow. Then we'll take down that hidden ground spider. Come. Cheers. Muzu raised her glass. The current Muzu was truly grand and heroic. She was not lacking compared to any man and was truly worthy of being their squad's leader. Everyone cheered and gulped down three cups in one go. Only then did they begin eating and drinking. Long Chen was truly hungry, and he followed along with everyone else, holding a chicken leg in one hand and a chunk of meat in the other, crazily devouring them both. Long Chen, come, let me offer you a cup, another one. Long Chen's mouth was full of food. But no matter who came to offer him a cup, he would down his cup. This was extremely refreshing. And after a few dozen cups, everyone began to become a bit noisy. This wine was no ordinary wine, but wine made for cultivators. It was extremely potent. Thus, they were starting to get drunk. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that these fellows were actually conspiring against him to get him drunk. He laughed and drank over and over again, never refusing anyone. In less than two hours. The only ones who were still capable of sitting were just Mu Zhu and the other two women. The others had already collapsed. Their snoring shaking the tent. Long Chen knew these fellows hadn't circulated their key to resist the alcohol. They were borrowing the wine to make themselves completely relaxed. After continuous days of weary travel, they were about to face a Xi'anchen magical beast tomorrow. To say they weren't nervous would be a lie. That was a battle in which the slightest mistake could cost them their lives. After drinking and eating to his full, Long Chen sat cross-legged, 
continuing to insert his blood key into his new meridians. Muzu and the other two women were meditating to preserve their strength. Although this place was a safe zone, there were no absolutes. It was always best to not be careless. After expanding his meridians to their limit, he began to circulate his two stars to urge on the primal chaos space. Although the growth was slow because there were too many trees, this investment would definitely lead to a bountiful harvest in the future. He couldn't waste his time. When the sun finally spilled its light over them, the Muxu mercenary unit all stood up completely refreshed. The drinking yesterday had completely calmed their nerves, and then their sleep had been incredibly refreshing. Their mental state had reached a peak. After the tents were put away, Muzu led them towards the west. After four hours, they arrived at a mountain range. Then after several dozen miles, Muzu raised her hand, causing everyone to immediately stop. Everyone held their breaths, because they saw a mountain-like figure ahead of them that emitted an aura that chilled them to the bone. Chapter 544 Leading the Monster Translator Born to be seeing that mountain-like figure, all their hearts pounded wildly, and they didn't dare move. Before them was a spider 300 meters long and half as tall. Its eight legs were tightly contracted right now. Countless barbs shone on them with a metallic light. No one doubted their sharpness. Its large stomach was covered with strange lines that made it look like it was made of rock. Its head was stuck within the ground so they couldn't see it. But just the aura emitted from its body was enough to make them tremble. Long Chen, what's your opinion? Muzu was also nervous. This matter could cost them their lives. Let me tell you something very unfortunate. It's advanced. Seems like it just advanced and hasn't solidified its cultivation base yet said Long Chen helplessly. Everyone's expressions changed. An early Xianchen magical beast was their limit. It was impossible for them to defeat Chiringa mid-Xianchen realm beast. Fighting would just be sending themselves to their deaths. How could this happen? They were all filled with regret. It had taken them so much work and time just to get here. And luckily the hidden ground spider was still present. But it was as if the heavens had just been playing a joke on them. Are we just supposed to give up like this? They were all very unwilling. Muzu took a deep breath and asked Long Chen, according to your estimate, if we go all out, what are the odds? Long Chen looked at Muzu and then the others, thinking for a moment, if you face it head on, you should have a 50% chance of killing the hidden ground spider, that made all of them delighted, but his next words made their hearts sink, however, even if you can kill it, most likely over half of you will die, furthermore, there is a 50% chance the hidden ground spider will kill all of you. You should discuss amongst yourselves about what you should do, said Long Chen. Just facing an early 6th rank magical beast, in other words, an early Xianchen realm magical beast, was already extremely dangerous for them. Now the situation had changed, and they couldn't follow their previous plans. They were unable to deal with the hidden ground spider now that it had advanced. Leader, we should fight, said one of the mercenaries. Although they usually called Muzu senior apprentice sister. When they were carrying out a mission, they would all call her leader. Yes, I agree. We aren't afraid of death, but we can't owe others. It was up to Muzu to make this agonizing choice. However, it was too dangerous to face the hidden ground spider. She was unwilling to see them all face such danger. She couldn't bear to see them die. Leader, have you forgotten? We all came from our own powerful families and powers. We were considered their elites. Have you forgotten our goal when we formed the Muxu mercenary unit? Wasn't it because we all were fed up with the deceptions and inner strifes within those powers? We were tired of being pushed aside through other people's sinister schemes and contemptible shamelessness. We formed the Muxu mercenary unit so we can be free, right? We want to live unconstrained, repaying gratitude and enmity, having our lives in our own control. Even if we can only control them for one day, we could still die content. These years, we escaped all other restrictions, living our lives for ourselves. We've already gained enough. Could it be that after experiencing peaceful time for too long, we've become so cowardly that we don't dare to risk our lives? Asked a member of the unit, his eyes red. That's right, leader. Right now, the only debt we owe anyone is Mogate. Once we repay that favor, we'll be completely free and won't have any more pressure. Anyone who chosses the path of cultivation knows they can't expect to have a good death. If we die, all it means is that our lives weren't hardy enough. We won't have any complaints. What we want is to be free. Hearing their passionate words, Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. This world was like a vat die, but there were still some people that hadn't been died by its contamination yet. They still possessed their original heart. Fine, then today we'll go all out against this beast. 
Miu Zhu clenched her teeth and then turned to Long Chen. You should leave for now. Your cultivation base is too low, and you won't be able to help us. Long Chen shook his head. Why do I feel like you guys are acting like martyrs? Isn't it just killing a magical beast? There's no need to make it seem like we'll be separated by life and death. Long Chen Long Chen cut off Miu Zhu. I really didn't expect that I would run into people like you all. If you guys trust me, then listen to my orders in a bit. Although I can't guarantee every single one of you will survive, I can definitely increase your odds of survival. Miu Zhu hesitated. She looked at Long Chen. All right, in a bit. Everyone listen to Brother Long. Yes, Long Chen was very pleased to see that the Miu Xu mercenary unit was very united. A single word from Miu Zhu was able to make them all listen. Miu Zhu had essentially placed all their lives in his hands. While they all trusted Miu Zhu enough to do that, Miu Zhu had only known him for a single day. That moved Long Chen emotionally. She was the same as him, someone who judged people based on their intuition. Since she had put her trust in him, he would have to show off his use. Everyone, retreat. What dumbfounded everyone was that Long Chen's first order was for them to retreat. Was he messing around? Long Chen, you're, asked Miu Zhu. Haha, <laughs> looks like my orders aren't very effective. Long Chen shook his head. Don't get angry. We just don't understand, said Miu Zhu hastily. Then I'll explain this one time. But this will be the last time. Next time I give an order, no matter what that order is, you have to follow it. Because if you don't, it may cost lives. Long Chen was extremely solemn. This terrain is mountainous, and it's not suitable for us to fight. The hidden ground spider can dig into the ground, and we'll be unable to catch it. If we lure it into the grassland, with the wide field of view, our chances of success will greatly increase. Now that he explained it, they all understood. They all felt a bit more confidence in Long Chen. At least he had some ability. All right, I have a question for you now. When you fight magical beasts, you probably split into squads, right? How many squads? Asked Long Chen. Four squads. Everyone, split up so Long Chen can see, said Mu Zhu. They split into four squads, each with six people. Remembering each squad's members and power, Long Chen then said, you should retreat 50 miles into the grassland and prepare for battle. Yes, now they no longer hesitated and they withdrew, leaving behind only Long Chen and Mu Zhu. Long Chen, how about you go with them? I can let it on my own, said Mu Zhu. She was worried it would be too dangerous for Long Chen. After all, he had clearly just advanced and was in the process of forming his new meridians. He couldn't even count as a true meridian opening expert. Don't be so nervous. Isn't it just a mid Xi'anshan magical beast? That's easy. Furthermore, I happen to be a specialist at running. You don't need to be worried about me. Long Chen smiled. If it wasn't suitable for him to fight now, he would be able to easily kill this hidden ground spider. However, his new meridians weren't complete yet, and he didn't dare use his spiritual key impetuously. All right, I'll begin leading the monster. Long Chen picked up a stone the size of a fist. He threw it at the hidden ground spider, crying out, Hey, bastard, wake up. The sun's going to burn your butt. Hearing Long Chen's curse, Mu Zhu almost laughed. But when the stone left his hand, her smile disappeared. That stone shot out at a terrifying speed, practically tearing through the air. It smacked right into the hidden ground spider's stomach, knocking it back several dozen meters. What terrifying strength. Mu Zhu was awed. She had never imagined that Long Chen, who seemed like a frail scholar, would possess such strength. Suddenly, a terrifying pressure descended upon the world. The hidden ground spider spread its long legs, and its head, which was bigger than a house, was revealed. Two pitch black fangs protruded out of its mouth, appearing incredibly sinister. The hidden ground spider suddenly let out a berserk roar and charged at Long Chen and Mu Zhu. Although its body was huge, it was as quick as lightning. Run. Long Chen turned and fled. Mu Zhu had long since been prepared, and the two of them crazily rushed away while the huge hidden ground spider chased. What startled Mu Zhu was that the hidden ground spider was actually extremely fast, much faster than she was. As for Long Chen, he had already gotten ahead of her, causing her to feel ashamed. She had actually been worried about Long Chen, but the result was that she was the one thrown behind. Furthermore, at this rate, it would catch up to her before she could reach the grassland. Then Long Chen's plan would be ruined. But she had already pushed her speed to her limit. Now she could only watch as the hidden ground spider approached. Her only option would be to fight it. Suddenly, Long Chen paused and grabbed her. Mu Zhu cried out, You go first. 
don't but she had already been pulled away by Long Chen. She was like Long Chen's kite, and he pulled her so quickly that her feet didn't even touch the ground. He only slowed down slightly when they had gotten further away from the hidden ground spider. Miu Zhu was truly amazed now. Long Chen's speed just now had been too shocking. It had practically been like flying. She didn't know what to say now. With Long Chen's support, the two of them maintained a distance of several thousand meters from the hidden ground spider. The grassland quickly appeared. At the same time, they also saw a few more figures. Shang Wu and the others had long since made their preparations to fight. Miu Zhu suddenly felt Long Chen's arm wrap around her waist, and she almost cried out, Begin storing energy. When the time is ripe, I'll throw you into the air, and you will use your strongest attack to give the hidden ground spider a fatal blow. Victory or defeat your Inglis in that one attack. Whether you can grasp that chance or not is up to you. Don't be careless, said Long Chen as he rushed forward. Hearing that, Miu Zhu's heart turned cold, and ignoring the awkwardness of being carried by Long Chen, she began accumulating energy. Prepare yourselves, shouted Long Chen. Chapter 545 Obtaining a Corpse Translator Born to be attacked, Long Chen suddenly threw Miu Zhu high into the air. The sound of her sword leaving its sheath rang out like a dragon cry. A ray of sword key slashed down on the hidden ground spider. Boom. The hidden ground spider was struck head on, and a huge hole was blown into the ground. Perfect. Cried Long Chen. The hidden ground spider had been rushing as fast as it could, but it had been stopped dead in its tracks by Miu Zhu. That meant her attack was extremely amazing. Furthermore, he noticed that Miu Zhu's sword had also contained some Xi'anshan power. Otherwise. There was no way she could have caused this perfect of a result. First squad, attack the left. Second squad, attack the right. Third squad, attack from the back. Fourth squad, stay back and wait for opportunities to attack its belly. Leave the head on fight to the leader, shouted Long Chen. Miu Zhu was stronger than Long Chen had expected. Now their odds of victory were slightly higher. Hearing his orders, they began attacking the hidden ground spider. Its body was too huge and they had to use powerful long-range battle skills to attack. But they were extremely sullen to find their attacks merely caused a few sparks when they struck its legs. They were unable to cause any injuries. Ignore the legs. Its belly is its weak spot. The squad's on the sides. Don't bother attacking it. Just split its attention to create chances for others. Remember, focus on safety above all else, said Long Chen. Boom. The hidden ground spider was also placing its focus on Mu Zhu. Even though this kind of magical beast had lower intelligence, it was still able to sense that Miu Zhu was the greatest threat to it. Its sharp fangs and huge legs continuously attacked her. Miu Zhu's sword danced in the air, sword key sweeping back and forth. But in front of a Xi'anshan magical beast, she was forced to fall back over and over again. She was unable to resist that level of power. Those friends standing at the back of the hidden ground spider. What are you all doing? Are you waiting to wipe its spot? Do you not see the hole there? Shouted Long Chen to the squad attacking the hidden ground spider from the back. Those people were startled, and raising their heads, they did see a hole. But that hole was closed right now. One of them had a spear in their hands, and he threw it as hard as he could at the hole. In other places, such an attack would only cause a few sparks. But that place was surprisingly weak. The hidden ground spider suddenly let out a shriek and raised its body. It was obviously painful for it. Leader, don't let it turn back. Otherwise, the others will definitely die, warned Long Chen. Previously, her movements had been a complete mess from being attacked by the hidden ground spider. Now, Miu Zhu finally had a chance to breathe. Hearing his warning, sword images shot out of her sword, ruthlessly attacking the hidden ground spider. The hidden ground spider tried turning several times to cut down those little fellows attacking its butt, but Miu Zhu's attacks were too vicious, making it so it couldn't. Yes, just keep going like this. Pay attention to safety. Only come forward if the leader is in a dire state. But remember, don't go too far in attacking it from the back, or the hidden ground spider will go crazy and do anything to kill you, warned Long Chen. Seeing this huge monster truly being suppressed by them raised everyone's confidence. They managed to beat down a mid Xi'anshan magical beast, but Long Chen was staring only at Miu Zhu. Miu Zhu was the only one capable of killing the hidden ground spider. Without her, this mission would be impossible to complete. Furthermore, this battle was clearly an opportunity for her. He felt that Miu Zhu should have a high chance of fully advancing to the Xi'anshan realm during this battle. In fact, perhaps only once she broke through would they be able to kill the hidden ground spider. Although it seemed like they had taken the advantage right now, 
they didn't have the slightest chance of killing the hidden ground spider like this. Mu Zhu, retreat. Long Chen suddenly shouted. Mu Zhu was in the midst of exchanging blows with the hidden ground spider, but hearing his order, she retreated without even thinking about it. Just at that moment, a large net shot out of its mouth, trying to envelop her. That happened so suddenly that if Mu Zhu hadn't heard Long Chen's warning, she definitely would have been caught. However, now she had enough time to dodge. This net was covered with a blue liquid that emitted a foul stench. It was clearly poisonous. Being caught in the net was probably equal to death. Everyone, pay attention. When the hidden ground spider is about to shoot out its net, its stomach will contract. That's your sign, said Long Chen. Hearing that, they had an urge to prostrate themselves in admiration towards Long Chen. If he hadn't been present, perhaps there would already have been deaths amongst them. This won't do, Long Chen muttered to himself. Mu Zhu's aura had fluctuated several times, but she hadn't managed to make her breakthrough. If this continued, her chance of truly advancing to the Xi'anshan realm would become increasingly remote. The more times you attacked the wall between realms, the stronger that wall would become, and the harder it would be to advance later. I have to think of something. Long Chen's gaze swept over the battlefield, looking for some chance. Bang. Suddenly, a warrior was sent flying by a spider leg. He vomited a mouthful of blood, and Long Chen hastily rushed over, holding that person in his arms. Brother, brother, you have to hold on. You'll be fine. You can't die. Long Chen held this person as he cried out, his voice filled with sorrow. Brother, I'm fine ah. Before he could continue, he felt a sharp pain on his leg and let out a miserable howl. But that howl was cut off midway. He collapsed powerlessly. Long Chen had slapped him unconscious. He sighed inside. Sorry brother. Don't die. Don't die. Long Chen shook him over and over, trying to rouse him. This scene was seen by everyone. But they were unable to see Long Chen's hidden actions, and their eyes all turned red. Kill. Seeing their brother die in front of them, all of their attacks became even more berserk. Bang. Due to that, one of the mercenaries was struck by the hidden ground spider and sent flying. He vomited a mouthful of blood and fell on the ground, unconscious. There was no need for Long Chen to do anything with this one. Bastard. Mu Zhu let out a mournful cry, and her sword crazily attacked the hidden ground spider. At the same time, her aura was beginning to silently attack her bottleneck. Boom. A sound came from within Mu Zhu's body, and a powerful pressure rose. However, Mu Zhu didn't sense it at all. She didn't notice that while her previous attacks were unable to break through its defenses, now each of her attacks would leave a large cut on its body. A yellow-green liquid slowly leaked from those injuries. Leader has advanced. Some people finally noticed this, but Mu Zhu was still crazily attacking the hidden ground spider. A ray of sword key landed on one of its fangs, and unable to bear being struck so many times, the fang broke and fell to the ground. Careful, it wants to run, Long Chen suddenly shouted. As soon as he said this, the hidden ground spider's eight legs joined together, becoming like a drill that bore its way into the ground. The ground immediately became loose, and the hidden ground spider disappeared underground. This was where it got its name. Although its core was dark attribute, it also possessed a certain control over earth energy. Its most slippery point was that when it encountered danger, it would escape into the ground. This was also why Long Chen felt that if Mu Zhu didn't fully advance to the Xi'anshan realm, killing this hidden ground spider would just be a fool's dream. It would simply run. When the hidden ground spider's immense body disappeared in front of everyone, they were all dumbfounded. It was too shocking to see such a huge body disappear. Mu Zhu, prepare your strongest attack. I'll find its position. Long Chen spread his divine sense, quickly locking onto a certain spot. He smiled and took out an arrow, throwing it somewhere hundreds of meters away. Attack right there, said Long Chen. Flying frost sword. Mu Zhu's sword ruthlessly stabbed down. Terrifying sword key cutting open a long ditch in the ground. The dirt exploded, and an immense body flew out. There was a long cut on the hidden ground spider's back now. Its body had almost been cut in two. Because it had been hiding below, it hadn't had any defenses raised, and so one attack was able to heavily injure it. When it appeared above ground again, Mu Zhu didn't need Long Chen to say anything. Another huge ray of sword key slashed down on its head. Its head was cut cleanly in two. It became still, dying just like that. Long Chen couldn't help feeling some admiration. Mu Zhu truly was powerful. Each one of her attacks contained her Xi'anshan power, and each attack was stronger than the previous one. Her comprehension and control were truly not bad. Ha ha ha. Victory. Victory. At first, 
Everyone was still silent, but then a burst of excited cheering rang out. Leader, we've got the core. Shang Wu searched within the hidden ground spider's head for a long time before finally finding the core. He offered it to Mu Zhu excitedly. Receiving the core, Mu Zhu's hands were quivering slightly. She still felt as if she was dreaming. She had actually advanced. It had happened so suddenly that she felt it was just a misperception. Then, about that corpse. Do you guys want it? If you don't, can you give it to me? Asked Long Chen. If you want it, then take it. But let me tell you, the hidden ground spider's corpse doesn't have any value. Mu Zhu's mood was extremely good now, and she smiled to Long Chen as she put away the core. He, good. Long Chen was delighted and placed the hidden ground spider's corpse into the primal chaos space, throwing it into the black soil. But before he could examine any changes, a furious row rang out. Ah, Long Chen, you bastard. How dare you plot against me? The person who had been slapped unconscious by him had finally revived from the dead and angrily cursed Long Chen. Chapter 546 Iron Wing Horned Eagle Translator Born to be they were now at the lake, and the tents had been set up again. The Muxu mercenary unit's members were all laughing cheerfully, drinking as much wine as they could in celebration. This battle had truly been fought too beautifully by them. Not one of them had died. In fact, only a few of them had even been injured before they managed to cut down the hidden ground spider. The most exciting thing was that their leader had truly broken through to the Xi'anshan realm. That made their unit's strength increase to unprecedented levels. Perhaps that was what it meant for happy things to occur in pairs. They no longer had any reservations and went all out drinking and eating. Even Mu Zhu drank over 10 cups of wine her face becoming slightly rosy. Long Chen was also celebrating with them. There were over 20 cups that challenged Long Chen in succession. Anytime someone touched their cup to his, he would down all his alcohol without the slightest hesitation. Now, over 200 cups had gone down his belly. Even with his tolerance, he was starting to feel a bit woozy, as he hadn't used any spiritual key to suppress it. He actually very much enjoyed this kind of feeling. They were all hot-blooded men saying anything they wanted to say, their emotions painted on their faces, they lived very sincerely, from them, Long Chen learned they had come from powerful families or some other powers, after having been squeezed out by others, they had ended up leaving in fury to become wandering martial artists, their talent was actually very high, but they had given up any hope in the powers they came from, they would rather be wandering martial artists than stay, they no longer treated strength as the most important thing, their number one priority was their freedom, their emotions. It could be said that they were extremely unconventional cultivators. Although they had to work for their cultivation resources by completing missions, making their lives dangerous, it was also extremely thrilling. They all lived this kind of life. Perhaps in other people's eyes, they were just a bunch of minor characters that would never have any success, but they still liked being themselves. Long Chen, you still haven't explained why you pinched me today. Their tongues had already grown loose now, and one of the mercenaries patted Long Chen on the shoulder while drinking. That person was the one who Long Chen had pinched earlier today in order to make him wail. Afterward, they had been too busy and there had been no time to get his question answered. However, he hadn't forgotten it. Now that he said it, everyone turned to Long Chen, wanting to know what had happened. Long Chen hiccuped, laughing and patting him on the shoulder. Brother, are you dissatisfied? In truth. You should be very happy. Originally, I was planning on crushing your balls. That person shivered, and he half came out of his drunken state. Fuck, when did I piss you off this much? This is called sacrifice. If it weren't for your shriek, do you think the leader would have become so furious and berserk, completely breaking through any restrictions? If it weren't for you, how could she have caught the chance to advance? And without advancing, how would we have stopped the hidden ground spider from escaping? Without killing the hidden ground spider, what would we be celebrating here? In truth, you're the one who contributed the most towards killing the hidden ground spider. Here, let me raise a cup for you. Long Chen's words made him very muddle-hated. He made it sound like their victory had relied entirely on him. Now seeing Long Chen drink, he also drank down his cup. He might be too drunk to understand, but the others also heard it, and now they finally understood that everything had been within his control. Mu Zhu was the most surprised. It really was as Long Chen said. If she hadn't advanced to the Xi'anshan realm, not only would many people have died, but they also wouldn't have succeeded in the end. This meant Long Chen had already thought of this plan before they even began attacking the hidden ground spider. Mu Zhu couldn't help feeling blessed. Long Chen was like her lucky star. 
If it hadn't been for him, she really didn't know what she would be doing right now. Long Chen, let me offer you a cup. Musa raised her glass to him. Haha, <laughs> for the beautiful leader to offer me a cup of wine. I really am honored. Long Chen hastily raised his cup. Thank you. Muzu looked sincerely at Long Chen. Haha, <laughs> you're being too courteous. If you hadn't helped me out, I would still be lost. Long Chen touched his cup to Muzu's cup and then downed the alcohol. Come, you two beauties. Let me also offer you a cup. Long Chen raised his cup towards the other two women. Ah, I don't really have much capacity for alcohol. If I end up drunk, you'll have to protect me. That woman, who had once helped clean him up, spoke bashfully, but the passion in her eyes was extremely brazen. Long Chen laughed. Don't worry, with this many brothers protecting you, even if the heavens were to collapse, there would be someone to prop them up. An undetectable trace of disappointment flashed within Mu Zhu's eyes. Long Chen was intentionally keeping his distance from the woman, acting as if he didn't understand her flirtation. Mu Zhu quietly retreated to her own spot. She watched as Long Chen drank with the others, playing a finger-guessing game and even occasionally spouting profanities. She quietly stared at this man. She felt this man to be very different from others, and yet his appearance wasn't so out of the ordinary. It was food for thought. This night, everyone drank a great deal, and even Long Chen was snoring afterward. It had been a long time since he had had such a good time drinking. When morning came, everyone got up refreshed. After all, they were cultivators, and this amount of wine was unable to affect their powerful constitutions. After putting things away, they were preparing to head back to the city when Zhang Wu suddenly said, Long Chen, do you think we can cut down the other brood? This suggestion was very enticing to Long Chen. He had noticed the small trees in his primal chaos space had grown a great deal overnight. They had already reached a height of over 150 meters. They were already able to provide a significant amount of life energy to him. Although each one could only give him a small amount, there were over a hundred of them. Each day, he could draw out life energy for himself. If he gained another Xi'anchen magical beast's corpse, then that would be even more perfect, allowing the trees to grow even more. But he didn't want them to face danger for his own benefit. Long Chen, do you want to try it? Asked Mu Zhu eagerly. After all, a Xi'anchen magical beast's core was an expensive commodity. Whether it was used for refining pills or forging items, they were rare treasures. As mercenaries, when there weren't any good missions available, they would go out killing magical beasts to exchange for cultivation resources. What kind of magical beast is it? Asked Long Chen. It's an iron wing horned eagle. When we noticed it last year, it was at the early Xi'anchen realm, said Mu Zhu. This time, Muzu didn't say anything definitively. After all, from their experience with the hidden ground spider, she knew she couldn't be sure whether a magical beast would have already advanced or not. Although it was said that magical beasts could spend decades or even centuries without advancing once, people still had to be prepared for bad luck. There was no way for her to be sure. That's something even harder to deal with than the hidden ground spider. Long Chen frowned. The hidden ground spider was a dark attribute magical beast. So it wasn't specialized in attacking. It was a specialist in running. When it hunted, it would stay underground and lay a trap. It rarely fought head on. But the iron wing horned eagle was different. It was a flying magical beast. And its build was much larger than the hidden ground spider. Furthermore, it was extremely fast. If they weren't able to defeat Chiringit, then they wouldn't even have a chance to flee. Right now, Long Chen was still in the process of forming his new meridians. He had already strengthened them over 30 times, but there was still no sign of them reaching their limit. He could only continue with this process. But then thinking of its immense body, Long Chen was very enticed. How about I go by myself to try it? Asked Mu Zhu. Long Chen understood her idea. She would fight it on her own. And even if she couldn't beat it, it wouldn't be able to kill her. I'll accompany you. In the end, Long Chen decided to go with Mu Zhu to take a look. Although his cultivation base was the lowest here, they all respected him a great deal. They didn't have any objections. After traveling for half a day, a sharp cliff appeared before them. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that the Iron Wing Horned Eagle was different from ordinary flying magical beasts. It didn't have a nest. Instead, it had excavated a cave in the cliffside. Just looking at the huge cave, he could tell that the Iron Wing Horned Eagle had to be shockingly huge. The rest of you should wait here. You absolutely can't come over. Long Chen had the others wait at a certain mountain. They would be able to see the cave from a distance. But it would be difficult for the Iron Wing Horned Eagle to notice them from there. 
Long Chen and Mu Zhu arrived in front of its cave. They didn't sense any danger, surprising Long Chen. He sent his spiritual strength in to investigate. The Iron Wing Horned Eagle isn't here. It probably went hunting, he said. Then what should we do? Asked Mu Zhu. This is a good thing. We'll take advantage of this opportunity to set up a trap. That'll save us effort. Long Chen smiled mischievously. Setting up traps was something Long Chen delighted in. Setting up a trap in its own nest was especially delightful. Suddenly, the sky darkened, and a large figure appeared above the two of them. A powerful pressure spread. Oh, looks like there's no need to set up anything. The master has returned. Long Chen spread his arms and dashed to the side, leaving the battle to Mu Zhu. Right now, it still wasn't suitable for him to fight. If it left a mark on his meridians, that would be something impossible for him to erase in his lifetime. He didn't dare take that risk. Bang. The immense figure crashed onto the ground. What startled Mu Zhu and Long Chen was that it was a flying magical beast that was only at the fifth rank. It was 300 meters long and was now unconscious. Novaloon.com CM It seemed to be the prey the Iron Wing Horned Eagle had obtained. It had been preparing to enjoy it once it returned to its nest. But seeing people had invaded its territory, it directly dropped its prey and charged at Mu Zhu. Chapter 547 It's not easy minding your own business translator. Born to be the Iron Wing Horned Eagle spread its half a mile wide wings. Its wings were like heaven splitting blades that crashed down upon Mu Zhu. Because its body was so huge, Mu Zhu truly appeared like an ant in front of it. However, one thing that put Long Chen at ease was that the Iron Wing Horned Eagle was still at the early Xianchen realm and had yet to advance. Furthermore, although it had reached the Xianchen realm, its bloodline wasn't pure. The bloodline its ancestor had left behind for it was becoming thin, and perhaps this Iron Wing Eagle's descendants would find it difficult just to reach the Xianchen realm. A magical beast's bloodline inheritance was even more important than a human's. However, their bloodline inheritance wasn't endless. If a hundred generations passed without another descendant reaching the same bloodline purity as its ancestor, then after those hundred generations, the bloodline would drop by one rank. After another hundred generations without the pure bloodline reappearing, then it would drop another rank, all the way until the race was cruelly washed out by nature's rules. As for this Iron Wing Eagle, its bloodline was already extremely impure. However, in terms of true fighting strength, it was much stronger than the hidden ground spider which didn't specialize in attacking. Mu Zhu was circulating her Xi'anchen power in preparation to receive the Iron Wing Eagle. Although she had only just advanced, she had been stuck at the half-step Xi'anchen realm for almost two years. She definitely had some control over Xi'anchen power. Now that she had finally advanced, she was much stronger than an average person who had just advanced. There's no need to face it head-on in the first exchange, shouted Long Chen. The Iron Wing Eagle's immense body was charging forward. Was there a point to taking that much force head-on? Mu Zhu hastily dashed out of the way, appearing hundreds of meters away in an instant. Boom. The Iron Wing Eagle's huge body crashed into the ground, and the land within hundreds of miles rocked along with it. Mu Zhu couldn't help being startled. That impact was shockingly great and if she had really faced it head-on, she would definitely be injured. She felt admiration for Long Chen's vision. He had instantly seen through its strength, but she was unaware that after being with Meng Qi for so long, Long Chen had learned a great deal pertaining to magical beasts. He naturally had a greater ability to judge a magical beast's power than most. Long Chen had felt that Mu Zhu might not necessarily lose in terms of power, but there was a risk she would be injured. There was no need to take that risk. As the Iron Wing Eagle climbed up from the ground, Mu Zhu's sword slashed down. Sword key powered by Xi'anchen power split through the void. Bang! The sword key exploded upon the Iron Wing Eagle's body, and it was sent tumbling back, feathers flying off its body. The distant mercenaries cheered upon seeing that. Mu Zhu's attack was actually able to send a Xi'anchen magical beast tumbling back. She was truly mighty, but Long Chen's mouth twitched. This kind of intelligence was almost worrying. She had spread her sword key so widely that it was unable to cause any real injuries. It might look impressive, but what use did that have? But then looking at the feathers on the ground, he instantly realized it had one use. It had a feather's use. One, if it was Long Chen, he definitely wouldn't have scattered his power but concentrated all his might to stab through the side of the Iron Wing Eagle. Its feathers there were as strong as the ones on its back. With Mu Zhu's Xi'anchen power, she would have been able to create a deep cut there. Although it might not be considered a heavy injury, it would at least count as an injury. But at this time, 
Long Chen chose to keep his mouth shut. After all, each cultivator had their own choices, and there was no such thing as being absolutely right or absolutely wrong. He wouldn't vainly give directions. The Iron Wing Eagle let out a furious bird cry, and a huge wing slammed towards Mu Zhu. Boom. Mu Zhu's sword slashed onto its wing, but she was unable to block its explosive power and was blown back. However, the Iron Wing Eagle was also forced back slightly by Mu Zhu's Xi'anchen power. That was the most terrifying aspect of Xi'anchen power. Haoshan power referred to a person circulating their energy within the body, but Xi'anchen power referred to using the Xi'anchen spiritual key inside your body to control the natural energy around you to attack. The two of them were qualitatively different. It's about to use a powerful move, Long Chen suddenly shouted. He had only just said that when the Iron Wing Eagle's forehead shot out a red ray of light at Mu Zhu. Mu Zhu hastily dodged to the side. The red ray brushed right past her body. Boom. The light pierced directly through a distant mountain. A hole dozens of meters wide was blown into it. It has given birth to a crystal bone. Mu Zhu was startled. A Xi'anchen magical beast had a certain chance of being able to merge their crystal core into a bone. Once they were merged, they would imprint their strongest attack into that bone. That was the so-called crystal bone. One requirement for a magical beast to give birth to a crystal bone was that its ancestor had to have been powerful. It required a powerful rune to exist within their bloodline. The fact that this iron wing horned eagle was able to condense a crystal bone meant that its bloodline was not ordinary. However, that bloodline had declined by its generation. Other than this, even with a powerful bloodline, a magical beast had less than one in a thousand chance of being able to condense a crystal bone. That made crystal bones extremely rare. Crystal bones were very heaven-defying treasures. They were natural weapons, and once they were refined, it was possible to use your own power to activate the runes on it to attack. They were weapons that even Xi'anchen experts would long for. Back in the Jiuli secret realm, Han Xi'anayu's luck had been amazing enough for him to obtain one, but later it had been destroyed by Long Chen's dragon scale. Back then, Han Xi'anayu had no Xi'anchen power to activate the crystal bone, and he had been required to use his own essence blood to use it, almost causing him to die of blood loss. That crystal bone of his had been powerful, but his own power had been too weak. Han Xi'anayu had been unable to draw out its full power. Only a Xi'anchen expert's Xi'anchen power was able to fully draw out the potential of a crystal bone. After all, the runes on the bone were the magical beast's core runes that contained their strongest attack. However, a magical beast's intelligence was too low, and their comprehension over natural energy was also too crude. They themselves were only able to draw out a tenth of their own crystal bone's power. But if a Xi'anchen expert activated a crystal bone, then they would truly be unrevealed within their realm. So a crystal bone was something countless Xi'anchen experts would go crazy for. Mu Zhu was also a Xi'anchen expert, so her heart began to pound. If she obtained this crystal bone, the Muxu mercenary unit would be able to dominate all the other mercenary units. They would no longer ever have to be bullied. When it's about to use its crystal bones attack, its eyes will become violet. That's a sign it's accumulating energy, and it's very conspicuous. Pay attention to it, shouted Long Chen. Right now, Long Chen had nothing to do. He directly took out a chair and leisurely sat, simply minding his own business. He hadn't expected Mu Zhu's luck to be so good as to run into a magical beast possessing the crystal bone. The Muxu mercenary unit had truly struck gold. Boom, boom. Continuous explosions rang out. Mu Zhu drifted around. Sword images flying all over. The discovery of this crystal bone had raised her spirits, and she became more and more courageous with her attacks. But Long Chen really was almost unable to watch it. In front of a magical beast, what were you doing facing it head on? There had been many opportunities for her to heavily injure it. He didn't know whether it was because Mu Zhu didn't dare take any risks for that, or whether it was just that she didn't know how to take advantage of opportunities. Just watching made Long Chen worry helplessly. However, Mu Zhu was truly powerful. Following this intense battle, her ability to use Xi'anchen power increased. Long Chen supposed that it was best to just treat this as a training exercise. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to watch. He began to continue strengthening his meridians. An hour later, his meridians had been pushed to their limit once again, and Mu Zhu was still fighting. Is she planning on fighting a battle of attrition? Long Chen sighed. His fighting style was that if he could kill someone with one blow, he wouldn't waste a second. Just watching this kind of battle made him worry. On the other hand, the distant mercenaries felt their blood boiling. 
This senseless battle in Long Chen's eyes was actually a heaven-shaking battle in their eyes. Long Chen didn't want to waste any time. He began extracting the life energy in the primal chaos beads trees. His injuries had actually mostly healed. But the destructive will of the heavenly Deus was still causing havoc in his body. He needed this life energy to expel it. After several days, those injuries had healed to 50%, which gratified him. Buzz. Suddenly, Long Chen felt intense fluctuations, and he suddenly heard Mu Zhu's startled scream. Watch out, Long Chen. He saw a red light shooting straight towards him. Long Chen couldn't help cursing inside. You guys can fight your battle, but mind your own business. He dashed to the side, and the red light pierced straight through the chair he had been sitting in. Boom. That luxurious chair of his was instantly destroyed. At the same time, the mountain behind him crumbled. This sudden change dumbfounded everyone. Why would the Iron Wing Eagle suddenly set its sights on Long Chen while it was in the middle of fighting Mu Zhu? The Iron Wing Eagle let out a heaven-shaking cry when it saw it didn't kill Long Chen. Surprisingly, it gave up on Mu Zhu and charged straight at Long Chen. Mu Zhu was completely shocked. The Iron Wing Eagle was too fast, and there was no way she could stop it. Run Long Chen. The mercenaries all turned pale. Long Chen was in the midst of forming his meridians. He hadn't even reached the true meridian opening realm. He would definitely die against a Xi'anchen magical beast. What are you doing? Seeing Long Chen just standing there like an imbecile with this huge monster charging at him. All of the mercenaries screamed. It seemed he had lost any of his previous quick wits. The Iron Wing Eagle sharp beak shone with a metallic light as it ruthlessly stabbed towards Long Chen. Boom. Chapter 548 Subduing a Steed Translator Born to be the ground shook intensely, and dust exploded into the air. Long Chen, Mu Zhu screamed with shock. She couldn't help being dumbfounded. Why hadn't Long Chen dodged? With Long Chen's speed, dodging its attack was no problem. Had he really died just like this? What? When the dust settled, Mu Zhu was filled with disbelief upon seeing that Long Chen was still there. He hadn't budged. Long Chen's expression was still calm. He had one hand grabbing the Iron Wing Eagle's huge beak, pressing its head into the ground. No matter how the Iron Wing Eagle struggled, it was unable to escape from Long Chen's hand. Whether it was Mu Zhu or the distant mercenaries, they were all dumbfounded, unable to believe this scene in front of them. That scene seemed like an ant trying to shake an elephant. With just one hand, he managed to subdue a Xi'anchen magical beast, making it so it couldn't escape him. Just what kind of power did that require? You wanted to crush the weakling first. Long Chen smiled coldly at the Iron Wing Eagle. Even if he didn't have spiritual key, he still had the power of his physical body. This Iron Wing Eagle was still greatly lacking if it wanted to bully him. Buzz. Suddenly, the Iron Wing Eagle's eyes changed color. Long Chen instantly slammed his foot onto its beak. Boom. The crystal bones attack shot straight into the air. Missing. Scram. Long Chen grabbed its beak. Using just the strength in his arms, in front of all their dumbfounded gazes, that huge body rose into the air and was then flung away. Boom. The Iron Wing Eagle smashed into a cliff, causing half of that stone cliff to collapse onto it. When it freed itself, it charged straight at the dumbfounded Mu Zhu. It's time to cut off its head, shouted Long Chen. Only then did Mu Zhu react. Right now, the Iron Wing Eagle was still dizzy from Long Chen's attack. That was an extremely rare opportunity. A ray of sword light slashed onto the Iron Wing Eagle's neck. Blood splashed, but Mu Zhu's attack only managed to sever half of its neck. Due to the pain, the Iron Wing Eagle awoke from its muddle-headedness. But before it could do anything, Mu Zhu's second attack arrived. When the second attack landed on the previous injury, its neck finally severed completely and blood spurted out. Its huge body disappeared, revealing Long Chen's excited smile. The head's yours, so I'll keep the body. When the Iron Wing Eagle's body landed in the primal chaos beads black soil, he saw that his trees all began to rapidly grow. It seemed the stronger the body of a magical beast, the more life energy it could provide. The Iron Wing Eagle supplied him with over 10 times the energy of the hidden ground spider. Long Chen was incomparably excited upon seeing the small trees grow. This was even faster than when he used all his energy to urge on the primal chaos space. Thank you, Long Chen said Mu Zhu excitedly as she put away its head. That was no ordinary magical beast's head. That was a crystal bone. Countless people would go crazy for such a treasure. Ha ha ha. Leader is too polite. We're just splitting the spoils evenly. According to volume, I've gained a huge advantage, said Long Chen. At this time, the other mercenaries also ran over, all of them incredibly excited. Long Chen, 
How are you so strong? Tell us. One of the women intimately wrapped her arm around Long Chen's elbow. He, it's not difficult. As long as you eat enough magical beasts, you can also have such a strong physical body, said Long Chen. How many magical beasts? Around 10,000. For example, poisonous snakes, maggots, rats, spiders, etc. Once you finish each one of them completely, not even leaving the bones, those juices will nourish your body AI. How nauseating. Don't explain it anymore. I definitely don't want to train in that. That woman let go of Long Chen, running far away. When Long Chen had said spider, it had been exceptionally disgusting. She thought of that sinister beast they had fought yesterday. Just looking at it had caused her hair to stand on end. But to eat it, let alone a young woman like her, even the manliest man would feel their stomach heaving inside. That's enough of that. It really is all thanks to you, Long Chen. Once I refine this crystal bone, no other mercenary unit will dare look down on us. Miu Zhu knew Long Chen was just making up nonsense, and she brought the conversation back to the topic. That's right. Fuck their moms. They really did bully us a lot. This time, we'll definitely have to give them a resounding slap in the face to tell them they can't do that anymore. Cursed one of the mercenaries. The other mercenaries were also filled with excitement. It seemed they really hadn't had a good time in the past. Even in the mercenary world, they had been pushed out by others. Long Chen, how about you join our Muxu mercenary unit? With this many brothers and sisters together, think about how delightful that would be. Shang Wu patted Long Chen on the shoulder. Exactly. You should join. At worst, us two sisters can help wait on you. One of the women flirtatiously pulled on Long Chen's arm. Hearing that, even if Long Chen's skin was thick, his face still turned burning hot. Furthermore, the other mercenaries even began to let out wolf calls. Although he knew they were joking, Long Chen couldn't help but feel slightly awkward. He really did like the atmosphere in this mercenary unit, but he couldn't stay. All right, you two should stop before you go too far. Miu Zhu laughed upon seeing how awkward Long Chen's expression was. Since we've obtained the crystal core, we should hurry up and return to the city. We still have over half a month's journey to make. Wait a moment. Long Chen suddenly thought of something. He looked around and then ran over to a distant lump. His actions startled the others, and they had no idea what he was planning. When he arrived at that lump, a head popped out of it. Only then did they remember that the Iron Wing Eagle had been carrying its prey when it had returned. They hastily rushed over to help. They saw that this magical beast hadn't died, but it was on its last breaths, and it would clearly die soon. You want its crystal core? Asked Mu Zhu. No, I want it to fly us back. That will save us a lot of energy. Long Chen examined the magical beast's injuries. Bring us back? You know beast taming? Asked Mu Zhu. A bit. Long Chen smiled slightly. Mu Zhu was a bit speechless. It seemed this Long Chen knew a bit about everything. But in reality, it was never just a bit. This is a fifth rank magical beast. A cold water bright crow. Although its strength is ordinary, it's large enough to carry us all. Explained Long Chen. Examining its injuries. Long Chen saw that it didn't have many outer injuries. However, its inner organs had been broken most likely from being dropped by the eagle. Since it didn't have many outer injuries, it was very simple for him. He took out a bottle of healing pills and directly threw it into the cold water bright crow's mouth. An incense sticks time later, its body quivered slightly, causing everyone to jump and take a few steps back. After all, that was a magical beast, and magical beasts were all violent, capable of injuring anyone at any time. They all wanted to see just how Long Chen was planning on taming it. It opened its eyes and seeing so many people surrounding it, it tried to run away. However, it didn't even succeed in getting up, as its injuries were too severe. Your injuries are very heavy. Even if we don't kill you, you'd still die. I'll give you two options. One is to cooperate with us and carry us for a bit. I will heal your injuries, and when we arrive, I'll release you. The second is that you refuse to cooperate. We won't kill you, but you'll still die here in the end. Any other magical beast will eat you, said Long Chen. Mu Zhu and the others were stupefied. This was beast taming? He was just speaking to it? If it understood the human language, would it even count as a magical beast? They were unaware that Long Chen was also using his spiritual strength to communicate with it as he spoke. Although it didn't understand his words, it could understand what Long Chen was trying to express. In truth, Long Chen could directly place a slave imprint on it so that it didn't have any ability to resist. However, he didn't do so. Once you placed a slave imprint, 
the magical beast would have no choice but to listen to his orders. He didn't like such a method. After a long moment, the cold water bright crow lightly pressed its head against Long Chen's chest in front of everyone's shocked gazes. There's no need for a spiritual imprint. I trust you. Long Chen smiled slightly and patted its head. Long Chen sensed a strong desire to live from it. It didn't want to die. So it chose to cooperate. What Long Chen hadn't expected was that this cold water bright crow seemed to be a relatively stronger representative of its kind, which allowed it to understand what a spiritual imprint was. However, its bloodline had already declined so much. To use just a few words to subdue a cold water bright crow, all of them were completely shocked. But what happened next made them even more shocked. Long Chen took out a whole bucket of medicinal pills. There had to be hundreds of pills in there, and they were all high-grade healing pills. These medicinal pills weren't refined by Long Chen. They were his battle spoils from the Jiuli secret realm. Such ordinary high-grade pills were trash in Long Chen's eyes. Healing pills were essentially useless to him, while the Dragonblood Legion's healing pills were all personally refined by him and were all three ring and above high-grade pills. Thus, such ordinary pills were completely unnecessary. After feeding the cold water bright crow this immense number of healing pills, he had it rest first. They didn't need to rush back immediately. If nothing unexpected happened, it would heal slightly overnight and would be able to fly with them slowly. When the day turned to night, everyone entered a cultivation state. But Long Chen was called out alone by Mu Zhu. Chapter 549 The Immortal Intoxication Pavilion's Ladies Translator Born to be Long Chen I know you probably come from somewhere extraordinary. But no matter what power you're in, you will have to deal with endless bullying and crowding out. Do you really not want to think about joining us? If you're willing to join, I am willing to give you the leader position. In fact, it wouldn't even be a problem to change the unit's name to yours. Within the darkness of night, Mu Zhu and Long Chen had arrived at Oppa Cliff side. Mu Zhu quietly spoke to him. Long Chen looked at the tent set up at the bottom of the cliff and sighed. First, I have to thank you for your care. But I really cannot join the Muxu mercenary unit. Why not? You're unwilling to abandon your status. Asked Mu Zhu. I think you might have misunderstood. I am not some disciple from some powerful family. I'm just a regular country bumpkin. I have no status to lose. The reason I choose not to join you isn't because I look down on you. In fact, I enjoy the atmosphere of your mercenary unit. You're all bound by deep feelings for each other. And it's just like family. It's precisely because I like you all that I cannot join you. I'm an unlucky star, and I'll implicate you all. Long Chen looked up at the crescent moon, shaking his head. You should know there's no coward in our unit, said Mu Zhu. You can think of me as a selfish person. You guys might not be afraid of death, but I am. I can't bear that pain. If I join you, it probably won't be long before the entire unit is destroyed because of me. You'll all die, while I'll have to bear the pain of being alone. Being emotionless is less painful than having emotions. Just let me be an emotionless person. A touch of sorrow appeared in Long Chen's eyes. He was someone who had set himself against the entire heavenly deos. If someone wanted to fight with him, they needed to be strong enough first. If their lives weren't hardy enough, they would all fall. Back in the righteous and corrupt battle, there had been many high-spirited core disciples who had fought shoulder to shoulder with him. But after the Jiuli secret realm, the only ones remaining had been Gu Yang and the others. The others had all died. Although the path cultivators walked on was one filled with struggle, where life and death were up to the mandates of heaven, Long Chen didn't know just how many of those dead companions had died because of Yun Wushuang's sinister schemes. That made him feel extremely bad. So Long Chen was being more and more stingy with his own emotions. His actions were very likely to cause other people to lose their lives. That was also the reason he maintained a certain distance from them especially Muzu and the other two women. Although the Muxu mercenary unit was filled with elites who worked hard and would become very powerful, Long Chen was sincerely fond of them and didn't want them drawn into his own maelstrom. It had been hard enough for them to find their own lifestyles, finding their own goals for their lives. It was best for them not to be caught up in his troubles. Long Chen, do you have an interesting story? Seeing that sorrow in his eyes, Muzu's heart shook. My story's too long. It's too long to even finish telling. Long Chen bitterly smiled. Then, do you want to try telling it to me? Said Mu Zhu. Long Chen looked at Mu Zhu. Thank you for your care. I will never forget the Muxu mercenary unit. I won't forget these brothers. And I also won't forget you. Aya, it seems I forgot to feed the cold water bright crow its medicine. I'll have to leave first. Leader, 
Long Chen patted his head vexedly, saying goodbye to Mu Zhu, looking at Long Chen's back as he left. Mu Zhu was slightly disappointed. During these years, she was the only one supporting the entire unit. She was tired, very, very tired. The next day, the cold water bright crow had recovered quite a bit. Seeing Long Chen come, it slowly knelt down. Are you sure this will be all right, Long Chen? If it throws us off halfway, we'll all be turned into pancakes, said Zhang Wu worriedly. Don't worry, even if we're turned into pancakes, you'll definitely be the biggest one. Long Chen looked at Zhang Wu's bulky build. The two women laughed in secret, but Mu Zhu didn't seem to be in the mood. She had yet to say a single word today. Let's go. When everyone climbed onto the cold water bright crow, Long Chen gave it an order, and its two wings shook as it brought them all into the sky. They practically soared into the clouds instantly, causing quite a few of them to turn green. At this height, there was no question they would die if they fell. Long Chen, can you make it fly lower? Asked one of the women, wrapping her arm around him. We can't. If we fly any lower, we'll end up attacked by other magical beasts. We might not be afraid of those attacks, but the cold water bright crow has only recovered slightly. If it's attacked, that'll be a fatal danger. You don't need to be afraid. Once we fly another mile higher, you won't be scared of this height anymore, said Long Chen. As he said that, they rose in the air. They really were less afraid now because the clouds below them were blocking their sight. The more brazen ones can enjoy the scenery. The scared ones can close their eyes and take a nap. The cold water bright crow will fly very steadily, said Long Chen. As soon as he said this, he saw all those previously frightened fellows going to the edges to look into the distance. That was to prove that they weren't scared. Long Chen laughed inside. How fast? If we continue like this, it'll just take us a single day to reach King's house city. Mu Zhu finally spoke. Shocked at this speed. We probably can't. The cold water bright crow's injuries have only slightly recovered. It'll only be able to fly a while before needing to rest for a night again. However, it'll still be much faster than if we traveled on our own. It'll probably take around three days, said Long Chen. Mu Zhu nodded and didn't say any more. When it was close to noon, Long Chen had the cold water bright crow descend down to a spacious lake. He once more fed it healing pills. Its body was just too huge, and it required a vast amount of energy. After resting a night by the lakeside, they once more continued on their way. They had to rest again after flying for half a day. But on the third day, they finally flew out of the continuous mountains. From there, it was only 10,000 miles to King's House City. But Long Chen had the cold water bright crow stop here. Everyone jumped off from its back. And Long Chen took out a large number of medicinal pills for it. All right, our agreement ends here. This last batch of medicinal pills is enough to make you recover fully. You can return home now, he said. The reason why Long Chen released it this early was because he was afraid if they got closer to the city, experts would notice and attack it. The cold water bright crow suddenly let out a low cry, and it placed its head against Long Chen, intimately rubbing it back and forth. It was actually moved by Long Chen's kindness and unwilling to leave. That made all of them feel emotional. Who was it that said magical beasts were all violent in nature? Sometimes they were more emotional than humans. The only thing between us was this agreement. I help you heal, and you help bring us here. Now the debt between us is settled, and our destiny together is at an end. It's time to part. Long Chen gently patted the cold water bright crow's head. Only then did it unwillingly spread its wings and fly into the air. But then up in the sky, it circled around, still not wanting to leave. Go, sighed Long Chen. Only then did it let out a bright bird cry and disappear into the clouds. Seeing this, Long Chen couldn't help feeling emotional inside. Even magical beasts knew how to repay kindness. But why was it that humans always liked to repay kindness with enmity? This had just been a small kindness, as well as a transaction. However, the magical beasts still knew how to be grateful. But a human? The Mu Xu mercenary unit was also moved. But Long Chen's words rang out within Mu Zhu's mind. Our destiny together is at an end. It's time to part. Was the cold water bright crow's situation a portrayal of their relationship with Long Chen? Her gaze was complicated as she looked at Long Chen's back. There's still half a day's travel left. Let's go. Mu Zhu suppressed her thoughts. They nodded. It was already close to noon. So they quickened their footsteps. They should be able to arrive before night arrived. He, Long Chen, once we arrive, I'll treat you to a meal. Said Zhang Wu excitedly. Don't bring Long Chen anywhere shady. Warned one woman. Shang Wu blushed, hastily waving his hand. Of course not, of course not. Am I, 
Zhang Wu, such a person. Long Chen was speechless. If you weren't such a person, what were you blushing for? Don't you know that lying only makes it worse? Cough. I'm doing this in consideration of everyone. Brother Long doesn't want to join our unit. So since we're about to part, I'm thinking of bringing him to have some fun at the Immortal Intoxication Building. You all know, the ladies from the Immortal Intoxication Building all sell their bodies, not their skills. No, wait, I meant they sell their skills, not their bodies. Zhang Wu hastily corrected himself. Long Chen looked at him with disdain. His goal clearly wasn't to treat him to a meal. It would be better for him to just say it directly rather than keep trying to cover up his desires. This is a good idea. No one expected Mu Zhu to now nod in approval. Leader, everyone let out a startled cry. You're overthinking it. That immortal intoxication building is King Prefecture's most beautiful place. I've long since heard of it. I want to go and experience it, said Mu Zhu. Leader, this isn't that appropriate, said Zhang Wu. Long Chen's helped us a great deal this time. Of course. We have to bring him somewhere nice. Furthermore, I want to go to the top floor of the Immortal Intoxication Building. The Immortal Intoxication Pavilion. Don't get any weird ideas. Muzu laughed. The Immortal Intoxication Pavilion? That costs. No matter how much it costs. Can it compare to the treasures we obtained? Then it's set. First, we'll go complete our mission. And then the Muxu Mercenary Unit will take a trip to the Immortal Intoxication Pavilion. One reason is to send Long Chen off. While the other reason is to declare to the entire mercenary world that our Muxu mercenary unit is on the rise, said Mu Zhu. Excellent. I finally have a chance to go experience the immortal intoxication building's peak ladies. Shang Wu almost began to dance in excitement. You want to go see the immortal intoxication building's ladies? Try again in your next life. Suddenly, an icy voice rang out, and a group of people rushed over from the distance, surrounding them. Chapter 550 Really? Why bother translator? Born to be they couldn't help being startled. The newcomers all had powerful auras, and there were over a hundred of them who had at least reached the meridian opening realm. Furthermore, there were six elders who emitted a particularly powerful pressure, one that made it seem as if they had merged with heaven and earth. It was actually six Xianchen experts. Shang Qingyan, what do you think you're doing? Mu Zhu shouted angrily. She had already unsheathed her sword. These people were the Muxu mercenary unit's sworn enemies. They were the oldest mercenary unit in King Prefecture, the Ironblood mercenary unit. Shang Qingyan was the Ironblood mercenary unit's leader. He appeared to be in his 30s, and his build was stocky. There was a long scar on his face that made him give off a savage feeling. Shang Qingyan was a true Xianchen expert who had reached the mid Xianchen realm. When the Muxu mercenary unit had just been formed, he had intentionally suppressed them. In truth, Shang Qingyan looked favorably upon Mu Zhu's talent and beauty. He wanted to take her as his own, but that matter had been ruined by the experts from Mogate. Although he was very famous in the mercenary world, within the eyes of sects, mercenaries were all just second rates, not much better than beggars. He didn't dare do anything to Mogate, otherwise, he would probably die without even realizing how it had happened. Although he had given the Muxu mercenary unit quite a bit of trouble behind the scenes. He hadn't been able to stop their growth. A month ago, the Muxu mercenary unit's strength had placed them within the top 10 of the mercenary world. Furthermore, what shocked him even more was that Mu Zhu had reached the Xianchen realm. That was a grave threat to his position. Within King Prefecture's mercenary world, only three units had Xianchen experts within them, and they took the top three spots. Now that Mu Zhu had reached the Xianchen realm, her mercenary unit would have to rank at least fourth. Furthermore, Mu Zhu had only just reached her 20s. On the other hand, Xiao Qingyan appeared to be in his 30s, but he was actually over 50 years old. That made him feel intense envy. Mu Zhu, I wasn't the one looking for you today. It was someone else who wanted to see you. Xiang Qingyan looked icily at Mu Zhu with an expression that seemed to delight in her misfortune. I've long since heard of junior sister Mu Zhu's beauty and unsurpassed talent. Seeing you today is really my life's greatest fortune. Suddenly. Another group of people arrived. The person at the front was a young man, and there were five Xianchen experts stood behind him. That young man appeared to have just reached his twenties. He wore long robes with a jade belt. Although he was only at the meridian opening realm, his aura was extremely condensed. The Muxu mercenary unit's meridian opening experts were all suppressed by that aura. Luo's Hongsheng, Mu Zhu's pupil shrunk upon seeing this person, and she turned slightly pale. 
She immediately understood what was going on. Ha ha ha. I hadn't expected junior sister Muzu to recognize me. It really is my blessing. Luo's Hongshen was smiling sinisterly. Examining Muzu, a perverted light appeared in his eyes. Muzu's hair stood on end, but she forced herself to ask. It couldn't be that the junior master of the Giant Eagle Stronghold has come to find trouble for me. Right. The Giant Eagle Stronghold was one of King Prefecture's three great powers. Other than Mogate, no one could suppress them. How could I find trouble for you? It's simply that I feel sad seeing you rushing around bitterly all day. So I came to accept you as a concubine. With my Giant Eagle Stronghold's resources, I'm sure you'll get much better treatment than staying with these idiots. How about it? Do you agree? Laughed Luo's Hongsheng. Fuck off. You're the idiot. You really are garbage. Fuck your grandmother. You really are looking to die. Luo's Hongsheng's words caused the Muxu mercenary unit to erupt in a flurry of curses. They almost charged forward and attacked. Luo's Hongsheng was clearly insulting them. They tightly clenched their weapons, prepared to fight at any moment. Luo's Hongsheng, for the Grand Junior Master of the Giant Eagle Stronghold to bully us. Do you even have any dignity? Raged Muzu, her body trembling with fury. If it was just the Iron Blood Mercenary Unit, she wouldn't feel any fear. Although she hadn't had time to refine the crystal bone, she wasn't afraid of Shao Qingyan. Although they might be lacking numbers, the Muxu mercenary unit was only filled with elites unafraid of death. They wouldn't lose in a fight. But with the giant eagle stronghold sticking their hands into this matter, it was completely different. With their five Xianchen experts, the Muxu mercenary unit would definitely perish if they offended them. Ha ha ha. There's no need to say any useless words. I heard that you accepted Mo Gate's mission. I've been waiting for you this entire time. I don't care whether or not you managed to obtain the darkness attribute core. Right now, I'll give you two choices. Return with me to the giant eagle stronghold. Or, he, die, sneered Luo's Hongsheng. Your giant eagle stronghold really is intolerable. We aren't even a part of your struggle. Just what do you think you're doing by targeting us? Raged Muzu. I don't have the energy to argue with you. The cultivation world is just like this. In front of the strong, the weak don't have any power to quibble. I've already asked you the question. So tell me, do you want to die or live? Sneered Luo's Hongsheng. Leader, you should run for now. We'll block them. Once your cultivation base advances, you can get revenge for us. The Muxu mercenary unit's members all fully released their auras, ready to charge forward at any moment. What ants are these? Scram. Suddenly, a powerful fluctuation spread. The pressure of Xianchen powers crashed down on the Muxu mercenary unit, and all of them felt as if the space around them had frozen. They were all unable to move. It was the giant eagle stronghold's Xianchen experts that had taken action. These were all old ghosts that had lived for centuries. Their control over their Xianchen power was something a rookie like Muzu could not compare to. The Muxu mercenary unit immediately fell into desperate straits. All their paths had been sealed now and they were being watched by six Xianchen experts. Even a fly wouldn't be able to escape from here. I knew you would refuse to accept until you were faced with reality. How about this? I'll give you a chance. Muzu, I'll challenge you with my late meridian opening strength. If you win, I'll release all of you. If you lose, he, then just obediently become my concubine. Of course, you can refuse this challenge. But the consequence will make the Muxu mercenary unit cease to exist within King Prefecture's mercenary world. Luo's Hongsheng had clearly come prepared. Don't agree with him, leader. Isn't the worst case just death? We'll go all out against them, cried one of them. All right, I agree. Muzu icily glared at Luo's Hongsheng. Leader, don't say any more. I've decided I wanted to experience the power of Giant Eagle Stronghold's junior master. Muzu waved her hand, cutting off their objections. Although she knew this person very likely possessed the power to fight across realms, the situation was forcing her. She had to try. Wasn't the worst case just dying in battle? That was better than just helplessly waiting for death to come. Ha ha ha. Good. That's exactly what I was waiting for. Everyone, fall back. Keep watch over the Muxu mercenary unit. Don't let a single one of them escape ordered Luo's Hongsheng Noveloon.com everyone backed up, leaving an open space for Muzu and Luo's Hongsheng. The Giant Eagle Stronghold's elders didn't seem the slightest bit worried about their junior master. They surrounded Long Chen and the others, not giving them a chance to escape. Once it was just Muzu and Luo's Hongsheng, Muzu raised her sword. 
her aura gradually condensing and her Xi'anchen power gradually rising. Long Chen, it seems Luo's Hongsheng isn't the slightest bit worried. What should we do? You're so smart. You can definitely think of something, urged one of the women. Sigh. Really? Why bother? Looking at Luo's Hongsheng, Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. Long Chen, don't just sigh. Think of some way to save Sister Mu Zhu. She cried urgently. Don't worry. I'm not sighing because of leader. Long Chen shook his head, quietly consoling her. Suddenly, an explosive sound rang out as Mu Zhu attacked. Her sword slashed down upon Luo's Hongsheng's arm, causing a metallic ringing. What? Could it be that Luo's Hongsheng has an unbreaking Vajra body? It's an arm guard, said Long Chen indifferently. An unbreaking Vajra body? Him? Please. Mountain crushing attack. Luo's Hongsheng suddenly shouted and golden light shone from his hand. A fist smashed towards Mu Zhu. Boom. When Luo's Hongsheng's fist landed on Mu Zhu's sword, she was blown back, an unhealthy red light appearing on her face. She was actually injured by this one attack. What? How is that possible? How can he be so strong? Complete tempering. A touch of disdain appeared on Long Chen's face. This was the thing that gave him the confidence to fight across realms, as well as the golden arm guard and a set of martial techniques that allowed him to fight barehanded against weapons. More importantly, Mu Zhu's weapon wasn't a Xi'anchen weapon. That made Long Chen look down on this junior master even more. This fellow had to have grown up eating chicken guts. He had even less guts than a chicken. Take another fist. Luo's Hongsheng Sheng shouted, and the power of complete tempering erupted from him. Fist images filled the sky. Once a cultivator underwent complete tempering, the new meridians they could form were shockingly durable. Their power couldn't be calculated according to common sense. The power of complete tempering forced Mu Zhu back over and over again. Mu Zhu was pale now. She knew she had been taken in. Luo's Hongsheng had deliberately led her to this path to trap her. Boom. Luo's Hongsheng's fist once more smashed upon her, and Mu Zhu almost coughed up blood. She barely managed to block it, but her sword shattered and she was blown back. The Mu Xu mercenary unit's members were all horrified. They tried to charge forward, but they were held back by the Xi'anchen pressure. Haha, <laughs> obediently become my concubine, Luo's Hongsheng sneered. He shot forward, catching up to Mu Zhu who had yet to stabilize, and reached for her throat. Suddenly, a large hand appeared out of nowhere and caught his wrist. At the same time, a sigh rang out. Really? Why bother? Chapter 551 Blood Splashes Through the Air Translator Born to be the owner of that hand was Long Chen. He had a pitying expression as he looked at Luo's Hongsheng. Luo's Hongsheng was first furious at having his wrist caught by someone. But then when we saw Long Chen's face, his fury disappeared to be replaced with horror. His eyes practically popped out of his head and it was like he had seen a ghost. He struggled with all his might to retrieve his hand, but he was unable to pull it back in the slightest with it caught in Long Chen's grasp. A-H-H-H. -h -h -h. Unable to pull his hand back, Luo's Hongsheng shrieked in terror, like a pig being slaughtered. Really? Why bother? Bang! Long Chen's foot slammed into Luo's Hongsheng's chest, and his body was sent flying. However, his arm was still caught in Long Chen's grasp, and it tore off his body. This sudden change shocked everyone, especially those elders from the giant eagle stronghold. They hastily rushed over to Luo's Hongsheng's side, supporting him up. They glared at Long Chen, filled with shock. Their junior master already possessed the power to dominate anyone in the early Xi'anchen realm. How could this person injure him so easily? Furthermore, from Luo's Hongsheng's expression, it seemed he recognized this person and was also very terrified of him. Long, long, long. Luo's Hongsheng didn't even seem to notice his arm was severed. He pointed at Long Chen with his other hand, stammering, unable to say the last word. Long Chen, it was Mu Zhu who finally cried out this name. She looked at this man in front of her, as well as Luo's Hongsheng who seemed to have seen a ghost. It appeared as if his soul might flee from his body. Long Chen shook his head at Luo's Hongsheng. They say if people manage to survive a calamity, they're supposed to gain blessings later. But why are you such an exception? Back in the Jiuli secret realm, of the three of you, you were the only one to survive. Back then, I was busy chasing after Yun Luo and didn't have time to deal with you. I didn't expect you to be so lucky as to get away from Mo Nian. But why is it that you just can't properly cherish this life of yours that you barely got to keep? You just had to send yourself in front of me. Now, I'd feel bad not killing you, as if not killing you is unworthy of you. So really, why bother, your Long Chen? 
one of the elders from the Giant Eagle stronghold pointed at Long Chen with horror. It wasn't just the Giant Eagle stronghold's people that were shocked. The Ironblood mercenary unit was also dumbfounded. Even the Muxu mercenary unit was dumbfounded. Muzu and the others finally realized why Long Chen's name had sounded so familiar. What kind of joke was that? Within the secret realm, he had dominated the righteous and corrupt path's top geniuses, slaughtering chosen like cutting apart melons. Where his saber pointed, corpses piled up. When he had dominated the Jiuli secret realm, the seven prefectures geniuses had been unable to receive even a single blow from him. He was practically a godlike existence. Due to the final battle in the Jiuli secret realm, Long Chen's name had already resounded loudly through the seven prefectures. He had become an idol for countless young experts. The Muxu mercenary unit's members felt like they were dreaming. This godlike existence had eaten, drunk, and slept with them? That almost seemed unreal. Who cares if you're Long Chen? This place is not the Jiuli secret realm. One of the Xianchen experts from the giant eagle stronghold roared, and his saber slashed at Long Chen like lightning. This saber cut straight through the space, and a terrifying Xianchen power followed it, causing the void to quiver. As soon as he started, this Xianchen expert used his full strength. The Muxu mercenary unit's members were horrified. This saber's power was unblockable by any of them, but as their hearts clenched, a blood-red saber appeared in Long Chen's hand. A light bang rang out. That terrifying attack merely caused a muffled sound upon slashing onto Long Chen's blood-red saber. The ground around them didn't even shake in the slightest. It was extremely odd to see. According to that saber's force, the whole ground should have been split apart. But now there was no reaction at all. However, the attacker's expression completely changed. Muzu was also delighted upon seeing this. Long Chen could only do this if he was able to use his own power to suppress and dispel the force contained within the attack. That meant that Long Chen's power had already far surpassed this Xianchen experts. Otherwise, there was no way to receive this attack without causing the slightest disturbance. He had to be at least 10 times stronger than his opponent. Even when you fart, you have to stick out your chest like this. You want to kill me with your infantile strength? Don't make me laugh to death. I'll let you see what true strength is. After saying that, his spiritual key poured into his new meridians. He had just finished the final strengthening of his meridians two hours ago, allowing them to reach a perfect state. He had strengthened them a total of 81 times. An unprecedentedly terrifying aura soared out of Long Chen, piercing straight through the clouds. A turbulent pressure spread from him. Muzu felt an irresistible power knock her back hundreds of meters. Only once she was far enough could she stabilize herself. This is Long Chen's power? Too terrifying. Long Chen had been focused on creating his new meridians the entire time she had been with him. Now, all he had done was pour his spiritual key into those new meridians and that natural aura was something she could not resist. Long Chen's true strength was too great. She finally understood why Long Chen would repeatedly decline to join them. Thinking of that, she felt a trace of self-disdain and an urge to laugh at herself. She had wanted to entice a godlike figure into her mercenary unit? Perhaps in this world, only they had tried doing something so foolish. Muzu was blown back, but the meridian opening experts were directly sent flying by the key wave. This was just Long Chen's natural release of aura and didn't contain any real power. So they were only blown back, not injured. As for the expert who had attacked him, he was also blown back dozens of meters, completely horrified. With the other Xianchen experts, he formed a shield in front of Luo's Hongsheng. As his spiritual key poured into his new meridians, Long Chen felt as if his body was completely transforming. It was like all his blood had been replaced and his bones emitted crackling sounds like they were cheering in delight. When his spiritual key began to fully circulate throughout his new meridians, he felt he had boundless energy within him. If his old meridians were small canals, his new meridians were like surging rivers. There was no comparison between the two. Long Chen rested his saber on his shoulder, indifferently looking at the six of them. Just now, you were all so imposing. How come you're like this now? Previously. The six Xianchen experts had treated the Muxu mercenary unit as fish caught in a net, waiting to be slaughtered. But now, in front of Long Chen, they were filled with terror. When comparing the two, it was incredibly ironic. Attacked together, the five of them looked at each other and suddenly roared, taking out their weapons and charging at Long Chen. When five Xianchen experts attacked at the same time, Xianchen power raged, causing heaven and earth to rumble. Five weapons attacked Long Chen at the same time. Long Chen smiled coldly, 
With a wave of his saber, blood red light shot out. Boom. The five Xi'anshan experts were sent tumbling across the ground, all of them vomiting blood. Even one against five. Meridian opening against Xi'anshan. A single attack had defeated the five of them. Everyone's hearts pounded. Just how powerful was he? The Muxu mercenary unit's warriors felt their blood boiling inside. This was their first time seeing such a terrifying Meridian opening expert. They had heard the stories from the Jiuli secret realm. However, what had happened in those legends was far too distant from their level. Only today did they bear witness to what a true heavenly genius was. After sending them tumbling back with a single attack, Long Chen smiled with satisfaction. His new meridians were really too powerful. When his spiritual key circulated throughout them, he felt boundless energy within him. That kind of feeling was excellent. He took a single step, and his saber slashed down. The Xi'anshan expert who had taken the initiative to attack him at the beginning was in the midst of falling back while vomiting blood. He didn't even have a chance to block before a saber cut off his head. As his head was flying through the air, Long Chen reached the second person, and his saber once more slashed down. This expert hastily raised a spear to block, but what horrified him was that the ancient runes on Long Chen's blood red saber lit up, and his spear was actually cut apart. No, his scream of despair didn't change anything. The saber fell, and he became motionless. A line of blood appeared from his forehead to his abdomen. Suddenly, his body split in two and collapsed on the ground. Long Chen didn't take a second glance. He was already on the third person, his saber releasing a sky full of Saber Ki. Parting wind slash. This person tried to block, but he was cut into a bloody mist by the sky full of Saber Ki, not even leaving a corpse. Bastard. Go die. The remaining two suddenly roared and countless runes lit up on their weapons. A terrifying pressure spread. Crap, they're activating their Xi'anshan weapons, cried out someone from the Muxu mercenary unit. I feel like it's better if you die instead. Long Chen stuck his saber into the ground and then extended his left hand. An azure light shot out. At first, that azure light was only the size of a palm, but it quickly grew, and by the time it reached the two of them, it was 300 meters wide. That was a huge scale. It was incredibly fast reaching the two of them in the blink of an eye. That scale cut straight through their bodies, and they were blown to bits by the scale's powerful pressure. The two Xi'anshan experts, or supposedly the rest of their bodies, landed on the ground. That sound was like thunder in people's hearts. Suddenly, another light sound rang out. People turned to see a round thing rolling on the ground. The head of the expert Long Chen had killed in the beginning had only just landed on the ground. The entire crowd was silent. Long Chen swung the blood off his saber and then rested it on his shoulder. He walked towards a quivering Luo's Hongsheng. Chapter 552 Obediently Plundered Translator Born to be Luo's Hongsheng's face was pale with fright as Long Chen walked over to him. His entire body was quivering, but he didn't even have the courage to run. Back then, he had personally seen how ruthless Long Chen was. He had dominated the top geniuses of the righteous and corrupt paths. Rivers of blood flowed wherever his saber pointed. His courage was already broken. I, I, Long Chen's saber was like a bolt of red lightning cutting off Luo's Hongsheng's head. He apologized towards it. Sorry, but I don't like nonsense. So I had no choice but to cut you off. Luo's Hongsheng's headless corpse slowly fell to the ground. The sound it made was very light, but it made everyone's hearts tremble. Whether they were from the Iron Blood mercenary unit or the Muxu mercenary unit, everyone's expressions were horrified as they looked at Long Chen. His expression had been calm from the start, but that was even more frightening than a sinister expression. A sinister expression always represented fury, and killing people in fury wasn't frightening. But Long Chen's expression possessed no joy or sadness. Even while killing five Xi'anshan experts and the junior master of the giant eagle stronghold, his face hadn't twitched in the slightest. Even these mercenaries who spent all day fighting bloody battles felt their scalps turn numb. Long Chen's domineeringness caused all of them to turn cold. The Muxu mercenary unit's members looked at Long Chen with reverence, as well as a trace of unfamiliarity. Was this the same Long Chen that had drunk wine with them and spouted profanities when drunk? His left hand was still holding Luo's Hongsheng's head, while his saber was now pointed at Xiao Qingyan. Xiao Qingyan's expression was ashen, and the entire Iron Blood mercenary unit was filled with despair. Long Chen's attacks had just been too ruthless just now. In just a few breaths time, Five Xi'anshan experts and Luo's Hongsheng had been killed, and there hadn't been the slightest opportunity for them to run. Now, none of them even dared to move as if they were just waiting for their death sentence. Each place has its own rules. 
Originally, I shouldn't have interfered with the mercenary world struggles, but your actions today have already broken those rules, said Long Chen to Zhao Qingyan. There were many different social circles in this world. The struggles of those circles were to be kept to themselves, and outside powers were not supposed to interfere. For example, a literary struggle between scholars or a business struggle between merchants should be decided between themselves. But if people outside that social circle interfered, that was extremely contemptible, and anyone would look down on people who broke this rule. If the Ironblood mercenary unit had only targeted the Muxu mercenary unit, then no matter what methods they used, it was still within the scope of their world struggle. But by becoming dogs for the giant eagle stronghold, becoming their eyes to keep track of the Muxu mercenary unit, they had broken that rule. Since they broke the rules first, then even though Long Chen was an outsider, he still stood on the side of reason if he attacked them. Thinking of that, their hearts sank. They had no chance of defeating or even escaping from Long Chen. I, Xiao Qingyan, will take responsibility for my actions. This decision was made only by me, and it has nothing to do with my other brothers. If you want to kill someone, you should kill me. But please spare my brothers, said Xiao Qingyan. Leader, the Ironblood mercenary unit's members all let out startled cries. They had never imagined that their leader would be willing to sacrifice himself for them. Even the Muxu mercenary unit's members felt their hearts shake. They really hadn't expected Xiao Qingyan to have such guts at this critical moment. They felt a bit of unwillingness. It's fine. You don't need to put on your act. Did you think I would be soft-hearted and spare you if I thought you were of noble character? Don't play such childish games. You can't trick me. I, Long Chen, am also not someone of noble character. In my eyes, there are only two kinds of people in this world. Friends and enemies. Those who want to have me killed will all be killed by me without hesitation. Your fake act of sacrifice won't make me feel any sympathy for you and spare your life. You're just wasting your time because I originally never had any intention to kill you, said Long Chen indifferently. Really Zhang Qingyan's expression became one of wild delight. That martyr-like image of his instantly disappeared. Wow, he really is disgusting. I almost ended up tricked. One of the Muxu mercenary unit's members couldn't help but curse. The others also shook their heads inside. They really had felt a trace of sympathy for him just now. They hadn't expected this fellow to have just been faking it. Xiao Qingyan also realized he had changed expressions too quickly, which had exposed his inner thoughts. However, he no longer cared as Long Chen had already said he wouldn't kill him. Leave behind your spatial rings and then scram, said Long Chen lazily. What? Our spatial rings contain all our wealth. Xiao Qingyan's expression changed. Again. I don't like nonsense. Long Chen gestured with the head in his hand. That was the same thing as what he had said to Luo's Hongsheng. Xiao Qingyan shivered. Although he was a bit unwilling, he still took off his spatial ring. Don't give it to me. Just hand it directly to leader Mu Zhu. I'm also a member of the Muxu mercenary unit. If you give it to me and I can't resist my greed, I'll be beaten by leader. Long Chen laughed. Mu Zhu blushed. She was incredibly moved inside. Long Chen had actually acknowledged himself to be a member of the Muxu mercenary unit, that was in consideration for them. It was a verbal acknowledgement, but everyone knew that someone as strong as Long Chen wouldn't join a mercenary unit. He was just supporting the Muxu mercenary unit, letting them become the strongest existence in the mercenary world. If it was known that a figure like Long Chen had once been a member of the Muxu mercenary unit, then it was unknown how many people would flock towards them to join. At the same time, she understood why Long Chen didn't kill Xiao Qingyan. He was leaving it to her to personally take her revenge. After all, they had been suppressed by the Ironblood mercenary unit for so long that their hatred was immense. Taking revenge personally was definitely much more delightful. Perhaps she might not be a match for Xiao Qingyan right now, and Xiao Qingyan might possess a great influence in the mercenary world. But in a few months, she would be able to finish refining the crystal bone. That would be enough for her to dominate the mercenary world. Long Chen was leaving behind his name to buy the Muxu mercenary unit the time it needed. With the support of Long Chen, there wouldn't be anyone who dared do anything to them temporarily. Once Long Chen left, Muzu would have refined the crystal bone, and they wouldn't need to fear anyone. That was especially true now that they were taking Xiao Qingyan's spatial ring. Perhaps over half of his wealth was contained within that spatial ring. He wouldn't be able to cause any trouble for them until he raised more funds. Long Chen had planned everything perfectly for them. That made her feel an indescribable emotion towards him. 
Once the Iron Blood mercenary unit's leader handed over his spatial ring, the others also bitterly handed over their spatial rings. Their expressions were extremely marvelous. Ha ha ha, you deserve it. When you were suppressing us, you all liked to act like emperors looking down on beggars. Now it's reversed. One of the warriors from the Muxu mercenary unit couldn't help but taunt them. Watching this was too addicting and satisfying. Back when the Muxu mercenary unit was first formed, they had had over a hundred members, but they had been suppressed by the Iron Blood mercenary unit, and people had left one by one. Only twenty some members had remained, but even then, the Iron Blood mercenary unit hadn't held back. They had wanted to completely eradicate them. If Mo Gates experts hadn't felt that that was too much and sent out their orders, the Muxu mercenary unit would have already collapsed. The reason why Mo Gates experts hadn't been able to bear watching that was because the Iron Blood mercenary unit hadn't just been suppressing them through the mercenary world, but also from the other surrounding powers. Their goal had been to forcibly disband the Muxu mercenary unit. It was due to Xiao King Gaian placing his sights on Muxu, but she had repeatedly refused him. For that selfish goal of his, he had been willing to sink to such low depths. That had been what had caused Mo Gates experts to send out orders to protect the Muxu mercenary unit. However, even then, the Muxu mercenary unit's days hadn't been very good. Xiao King Gaian might not have been able to use any outer powers, but he was still able to use his influence in the mercenary world to make things hard on them. They had been unable to take any good missions, and most of the time, they had to rely on killing magical beasts to get the cultivation resources they needed. However, these bitter experiences had tempered their wills. They were also proof of their confidence in each other. The Muxu mercenary unit's members were all as close as a family and were very reliable. Seeing over a hundred spatial rings land in her hands, Muzu was incredibly moved. The profit within them was definitely beyond her imagination. The spirit stones in Xiao King Gaian's spatial ring alone were piled into mountains, and he had possessed countless medicinal pills. There was also an unknown number of battle skills and cultivation techniques. This was all the wealth that he had accumulated over the years. It was no wonder why Xiao King Gaian's expression had been so odd despite him trying to act calm. His expression made it seem like his father had just died. Even once the Iron Blood mercenary unit left, the Muxu mercenary unit still stood there like wooden lumps. Long Chen laughed. Why are you just staring like imbeciles? Hurry up and clean up the battlefield. Those Xianchen fellows definitely possessed some riches they only reacted now, and they hastily ran over to those corpses. They quickly found four spatial rings and two good weapons. Originally, there should have been six spatial rings. However, two of them had been broken during the fight. As for the martial weapons, the only ones remaining were the two Xianchen weapons. One was a sword that shone with a cold light, while the other was an odd weapon, a hook. It looked like a very bent sword, near the hilt. There were two more hooks to protect the arm. It looked extremely awkward to use, but it was still a Xianchen weapon with considerable value. That former was also what Muzu needed right now. As for the spatial rings, it went without saying they were filled with riches. Just Luo's Hongsheng, who had been a rich junior master, had possessed much more wealth than the entire Iron Blood mercenary unit. Long Chen, seeing all these battle spoils, Muzu looked at Long Chen. I don't need these things. Pick out the things you need for yourselves, and if you can't use the rest, either store them for now or sell them. Just remember to treat me to go to some building, or was it some pavilion with some pretty female entertainers? Laughed Long Chen. You giant eagle stronghold idiots. How dare you try and set yourselves against my Mogate? Are you looking to die? Suddenly, a furious shout rang out, and several figures rushed over from the distance. Chapter 553 Bastard Mo Nian Translator Born to be there were a total of seven newcomers. The person at the front was wearing a cloak that hid his face. But when Long Chen saw that figure, he couldn't help smiling. It's Mo Gates Jr. Master. The Muxu mercenary unit's members let out startled cries. Within all of King Prefecture, the only one who liked to wear a black cloak to hide half his face like this was Mo Nian. They hadn't expected this matter to actually disturb Mo Gates Jr. Master into personally coming. Mo Nian was acclaimed as King Prefecture's number one member of the junior generation. He was unrevealed within his level. He was an idol for young cultivators. Luo's Hongsheng, if I don't cut off your head today, then I won't be Mo Nian. Mo Nian was incredibly fast. When he first shouted, he was still hundreds of miles away. But by the time he was finished, he had already arrived. As usual, you still like to give advice in hindsight. I've already helped you cut off the head. 
Here, Long Chen laughed and threw a head at Mo Nian. Mo Nian had been furious at first, but as he got closer, he realized the situation was a bit off. Before he understood what was going on, he heard Long Chen's voice. He almost thought he was hallucinating. He raised his hand and caught the head. Long Chen, you finally come. Ha ha ha. The two of them suddenly laughed. Mo Nian threw the head aside, and the two of them fiercely embraced each other. It had been months since they had last seen each other in the first monastery. Now, the two of them had both stepped into the meridian opening realm. How have you come here? Mo Nian was surprised to see Long Chen with the Muxu mercenary unit. He was even wearing their clothes. He, don't even mention it. A group of bastards chased me down. If it weren't for the Muxu mercenary unit, perhaps I'd still be wandering in the mountains, said Long Chen. You were chased down by people? Just who possessed such a sense of righteousness? Asked Mo Nian. Mo Nian's words almost made the Muxu mercenary unit collapse to the ground in laughter. Long Chen's expression darkened. Brat, you want to fight? He, it's just a joke. Who would be so brazen as to fight you? Long Chen, laughed Mo Nian. Let's not talk about it now, as it's just too infuriating. Here, let me introduce you. This is Haha. I've long since become acquainted with leader Mu Zhu. Long Chen, it'd be best for you not to throw your affection at someone who's not interested, advised Mo Nian. Leader Mu Zhu, you have to be careful. This brat Long Chen might not possess any other skills, but his pickup techniques on women are unrevealed beneath the heavens. Keep yourself safe. Mo Nian, you bastard. Long Chen roared. Ah, Long Chen, are you talking to me? A muscular man behind Mo Nian smiled at Long Chen. He had a thick beard and a powerful aura. Long Chen was startled. This person appeared similar to Mo Nian's father. In terms of age, he seemed a bit older than him. He, uncle, he was definitely talking to you. Look, this brat's gaze is clearly looking down on you. If you don't teach him a lesson, it'll make me look down on you. Mo Nian winked. One, a large hand clapped Mo Nian on the back of his head. His uncle cursed. You little brat, how dare you even scheme against your uncle. You're the one who needs to be taught a lesson. Looks like we didn't need to come here. This world will be for you youngsters in the future. So we'll leave first. You can accompany your guests. Mo Nian's uncle saw the corpses on the ground. With his sharp eyesight, he could see they were killed by absolute strength. Which was why he was deeply moved at the sight. He walked up to Long Chen and patted him on the shoulder with praise. Ki and blood like a sea, and a body like a wild dragon. Yun Chen was correct. Long Chen. You definitely are a peerless genius. With the two of you together, you'll be able to dominate all of King Prefecture. All right, the two of you can mess around. When you get tired of playing around, remember to return home. Take care uncle. Long Chen hastily called out respectfully. Once those experts from Mo Gate left, Long Chen sighed with emotion. Mo Nian, your uncle really is not bad. Please, don't give me that. Are you going to get angry just because of a little insult? You really are a contemptible little man who hits people while they're down. Raged Mo Nian. Hitting people while they're down is at least better than despicably trying to trap people. Said Long Chen lightly. Um, excuse me. Can I interrupt? Junior Master Mo. I can just directly give the hidden ground spider's crystal core to you. And you can cancel the mission at the mercenary guild. Mu Zhu had no choice but to interrupt. It seemed the two of them would never stop insulting each other. The hidden ground spider's core? You actually obtained it. Mo Nian almost jumped with delight. The only reason he had come here was because he had heard the three great powers, which included the giant eagle stronghold, were trying to prevent the various mercenary units from obtaining the hidden ground spider's core. Today, he had heard from other Mo Gate's disciples that the giant eagle stronghold's experts had moved out. Without even thinking about it, he knew they were carrying out some shameful scheme, and so he had rushed over. He hadn't imagined that the Muxu mercenary unit had actually obtained the hidden ground spider's core. That made him delighted, as that was what he needed the most right now. Receiving the core from Muxu, he was incomparably excited. Really, thank you Muxu mercenary unit. I'll pay three times the reward. No, ten times the reward. The mercenary guild was often entrusted with missions. When announcing the mission and when the mission was completed, the guild would take 5% of the reward. Although they took some of the profit, everyone was well aware that without the mercenary guild, it would be much harder for them to set up a trustworthy mission platform, so they were willing to pay to use the mercenary guild like this. However, once a mission was completed, they would only take 5% of the reward promised. If one party wanted to increase the reward afterward, 
that was their issue, and they wouldn't take a cut. Let's forget about the reward. Back then, if it weren't for Mogate, our Muxu mercenary unit would have long since collapsed. This time, we were mostly just repaying the favor. Muxu then looked at Long Chen. Other than that, our Muxu mercenary unit is no longer lacking money, so there's no need to mention a reward again. Mo Nian nodded. All right, well, I'm not someone so argumentative. I'll remember this favor. Let's go. We can go have a meal at my restaurant. You have a restaurant asked a surprised Long Chen. How refreshing. Is having a restaurant so hard? Isn't it easy as long as you have money? In any case, everyone follow me. We'll have to properly celebrate today. Mo Nian pulled Long Chen, leading them into King's Hao City. King's Hao City was King Prefecture's largest city and also its capital. The city was tens of thousands of miles wide. High building sword and an ancient charm was present. This was Long Chen's first time in such a large city. Although the Zhuanshan Supermonastery was Su Prefecture's strongest power, that was a sect, and it was far from the clamor of the secular world. As for Su Prefecture's capital, he had never seen it. Even though he had prepared himself for such a sight, seeing King's Hao City still shocked Long Chen. This huge, ancient city seemed like a sleeping monster. An ancient Dao charm came from every inch of it. However, the wide streets were filled with people. Just a single road could be a mile wide. These people were all martial artists. Xianchen experts weren't rare at all. Meridian opening cultivators were everywhere, and bone forging cultivators were as plentiful as dogs. However, although these cultivators had high cultivation bases, their auras weren't powerful. Long Chen suspected their cultivation bases were reached relying entirely on medicinal pills. Their true combat strength was very lacking. He knew these were mostly free cultivators that didn't have a sex grooming. They could only rely on their own work to gain cultivation resources. How is it? It's pretty flourishing, right? Compared to my king's house city, your Zhuanshan supermonastery is just a large prison. Look at how many people there are. Cultivators form crowds. Beauties are like the clouds. There's fun in the day and singing at night. That's a real way to live. He, what do you think? How about you don't leave and just stay here? That'll definitely be better than staying at your Zhuanshan supermonastery, enticed Mo Nian. It went without saying that when compared, rejoining the secular world was much more emotionally moving than leaving it. Now that Long Chen was interacting with the secular world again, he felt a kind of superiority. The cultivators here were just too weak. Any random disciple from the Zhuanshan supermonastery would be unable to find a match for themselves within the same realm here. Mu Zhu and the others were following Mo Nian and Long Chen. Hearing their words, looking at their backs, they were also moved. The two of them were the top geniuses of their prefectures. In front of them, any genius would seem lackluster. Do you see how many beauties we are passing on the streets? Are you not envious of their worshipful gazes? Mo Nian's expression was calm, but his voice contained a bit of pride. I'm not envious at all. Little brat, it's not like you dare fool around with any of them. What's the point? Said Long Chen disdainfully. In the Jiuli secret realm. Mo Nian had asked Long Chen to teach him his pickup techniques, and how he managed to keep the peace between his women. At that time, Mo Nian had bitterly complained that he had a Fianke who kept a very close eye on him and didn't let him fool around. That made him incredibly vexed. It seemed he had forgotten that he had already exposed that fact. But Long Chen's memory was rather good. If he could only look, but not enjoy or even touch, was there anything to be envious of him? Ha ha ha, jealous. You're definitely jealous. I just knew you would be like this. Mo Nian laughed. Long Chen ignored him, and the two of them continued walking. He examined the ancient and flourishing city as he walked, feeling something special in the air. He, we've arrived. Do you see this? This is my restaurant, the Hero Convergence Building. What do you think of that grand name? A place where all heroes gather. It's not bad, right? Mo Nian pointed at a large building proudly. Long Chen raised his head. The restaurant looked quite lavish and it was not bad, but when he saw a line of words at up the entrance, his expression became one full of disdain. Chapter 554 A Cloudless Sky Translator Born to be was this written by you, of course. Just look at that calligraphy. Who else could write with such bold, impressive strokes? Said Mo Nian proudly. Yes, well, let's ignore that calligraphy for now. I'm very curious why you would decide to turn the original horizontal scroll into a vertical scroll. One. As for your guests come like clouds, it's not the worst thing I've read, but I really want to know just what you were thinking with the next line, a cloudless sky. 2. 
Are you cursing yourself to have no business? Long Chen was practically without words as he looked at the marvelous couplet written over the entrance. Mu Zhu and the others also looked oddly at that couplet. It was no wonder this restaurant looked so forlorn and empty. It was like they had done that on purpose. TCH. Stop spouting nonsense. Do you want to eat or not? Even when I treat you to a meal, you have to be so picky. Are you treating your friend as an outsider? Mo Nian blushed. Also feeling that this couplet he had randomly scrawled out was a bit inappropriate. He hastily brought them inside. They entered a spacious hall without a single person present. It really is cloudless. Long Chen couldn't help but laugh. Mo Nian angrily shouted. Hello. Get out here and receive your customers. Junior master? Oh. I mean. Boss. You've come. Suddenly. A person wearing a waiter's clothes ran over. Where are the others? Where's the shopkeeper? Raged Mo Nian. Isn't it about dinner time? They went to go eat at the restaurant across the street. Answered the waiter. Muzu couldn't hold back any longer and laughed. They had actually run to another restaurant to eat? Mo Nian, what are you playing at? Long Chen also couldn't help but laugh. Mo Nian laughed mischievously. In truth, I really only opened this restaurant to play around. There are people publicly challenging my Mo family, and even the tenants of this space joined them, refusing to pay rent, so I directly drove them out. This territory is my Mo gates, but there have been a few clowns recently who like to come here when they're bored. Well, since we couldn't rent this place out, I just turned it into a restaurant to mess around. Long Chen was slightly surprised. Had Mo Gate really been bullied to this point? Even their tenants were beginning to oppose them? Long Chen knew Mo Gate was different from other sects. King Prefecture was their territory, and they were part of many businesses, which allowed Mo Gate to keep up with its immense expenses. That was different from the Zhuanshan Monastery. The Zhuanshan Monastery got its resources from the Super Monastery. While the Supra Monastery got its resources from the Zhuanshan Dao sect as for how the Zhuanshan Dao sect had enough money to groom so many people, he had no idea, other than its businesses. Mo Gate also rented some of its excess territories to other people for rent money. But now Mo Nian said their tenants dared renege on their rent, perhaps there were many things hiding behind the scenes. Boss, at this time, over a dozen people ran over from the restaurant across the street. Seeing Mo Nian, they hastily bowed. All right. Hurry up and go order some dishes and bring them back here. I'm sure you should know their best dishes after eating there for so long, said Mo Nian. Yes, yes, we've tried everything on their menu. Don't worry boss, we'll go right now. Those people ran back to the restaurant across the street. Long Chen was unable to understand what they were doing. Did all city people like to play around like this? Come, let's go upstairs. I think you're this restaurant's first customers, Mo Nian laughed. They all followed him to the top floor. This top floor only had a single table large enough for all of them to sit at. From here, it was possible to overlook all the busy streets. The field of view was extremely wide, and it was a very relaxing place to be. Eating here was definitely extremely extravagant. They had only just sat down when Long Chen saw some people rushing over from the opposing restaurant, all carrying large trays. Atop the trays were all kinds of delicacies. In just a moment. These bone-forging waiters filled the table with dishes. It went without saying that these people really had good taste. These dishes were all amazing delicacies that could make a person salivate. Mo Nian took out dozens of jugs of fine wine from his spatial ring, and the waiters hastily filled up everyone's cups. Mu Zhu, let me raise a cup to your mercenary unit. I'll definitely remember this favor, said Mo Nian solemnly. Although he was Mo Gate's junior master, he knew being a mercenary was challenging. Each day. They danced on the tip of a blade, and any one of them could die at any time. But they were also hot-blooded people who liked danger, who were loyal and straightforward. Mo Nian sometimes longed for their lives. Seeing Mo Nian stand up to offer them wine, the Muxu mercenary unit also stood up. They were filled with respect towards King Prefecture's number one junior generation. Cheers. They didn't say anything. There was nothing to say. All their emotions were conveyed within this wine. Just how many people were able to have Mo Nian propose a toast to them? Let alone the mercenary world. Even in all of King Prefecture, there were few people who had ever received such treatment. In truth, you should be thanking Long Chen. It's actually quite embarrassing for us. If it hadn't been for Long Chen, we probably wouldn't have obtained the hidden ground spider's core, and most of us would probably be dead now. Mu Zhu couldn't help sighing regretfully. You clearly knew it was dangerous but you still went to go hunt down the hidden ground spider. That makes me feel even more grateful. Come, 
Let me raise another cup. Mo Nian drained his cup in one gulp. The others followed suit. Mo Nian laughed. As a person, I don't have any skill in oration. I'm not like some people who are capable of amazingly graceful but empty speech. So I won't blindly spout nonsense. Let's drink again. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. This little fellow was once more up to his tricks. Just when had he blindly spouted nonsense? After three cups, Mo Nian sat back down. And only then did the Muxu mercenary unit's members sit down, beginning to eat. Long Chen, how's your relationship with leader Mu Zhu? Mo Nian suddenly laughed wickedly. Mu Zhu turned red. Long Chen glared at Mo Nian. Brat, if you spout that nonsense again, I'll smash you with your wine cup. Is there really nothing between you two? How curious. It seems that doesn't conform with your style, said Mo Nian curiously. Mu Zhu was beginning to feel resentful. But as the Muxu mercenary unit's leader, she had to calm herself back down. Junior Master Mo has misunderstood. Long Chen is a genius like you. We only ran into each other by chance. In the future, it's fated for us to be parted. But no matter what, Long Chen was once a member of our Muxu mercenary unit. Someone who ate and lived with us. Someone who fought with us on the battlefield. He will always be in our hearts. Towards the end, Muzu's voice began to tremble slightly causing each warrior of the Muxu mercenary unit to feel a bit depressed. The two women's eyes turned red. Although they had only interacted with Long Chen for a few days, he had given them a deep impression. They were unwilling to let him leave. But the dragon didn't play with shrimp, and the phoenix didn't live with sparrows. They weren't on the same level, and it was impossible for them to be with each other forever. Thinking of their destined separation, they felt a burst of grief. Long Chen was also silent. He wanted to say something comforting. But he was unable to say anything. Mo Nian felt awkward and hastily said, We should just be happy that we had this time together. Who can possibly predict what will happen on the path of cultivation? So you should live every day as if it were your last. Come, let's drink again. No one can leave until we're all drunk. Everyone cheered and raised their cups, gulping down their wine. Ten cups later, they were already starting to feel woozy, and they couldn't continue drinking so fast. The Mo Nian they were seeing today was completely different from the icily arrogant Mo Nian they normally saw. No matter who raised him a cup, he would accept, not putting on any airs. Hey, has there been a mistake? What are you doing targeting me? Go target Long Chen. Mo Nian suddenly realized something was off. What do you mean, target? What an ugly way to put it. You're the boss of this place, and we're eating your food, drinking your wine. So of course we have to express our gratitude said Long Chen righteously. TCH, I won't talk to you. All you know how to do is talk nonsense. I really can't beat you in that regard. All of you just wait. Just now, that brat Long Chen said he wanted to drink me to death. That's definitely a provocation. So now, I challenge you to a battle. Mo Nian pointed at Long Chen. Yes, everyone cheered. All right, let's start off with 300 juds each. Mo Nian waved his hand and a small mountain of wine jugs appeared before them. That made them jump. 300? For an ordinary person, drinking just three jugs would make them collapse. Mo Nian's wine was peak grade, and they were already dizzy from drinking just over 10 cups. It was extremely potent. This was no ordinary wine, but a kind of medicinal wine. It was extremely helpful in stabilizing a person's cultivation base and was very precious. Most people were unable to even buy it. If they didn't use spiritual key, then an ordinary meridian opening cultivator would collapse from just three jugs. That's a bit inappropriate. The situation isn't like before. Didn't your uncle say we should return home once we finished playing around? Said Long Chen. 300 jugs of this wine was something Long Chen had never tried before. If he didn't use spiritual key to resist, then he probably wouldn't be able to bear it. Right now, Mo Gate was in an unstable position, and powerful enemies surrounded them. It really was unsuitable to be so unrestrained. Long Chen was on guard, and so he mentioned Mo Nian's uncle. TCH, don't mention my uncle. Don't worry, those people are just a bunch of hopping clowns. They aren't able to challenge my Mo Gate. Come, us brothers will drink until we're happy. Mo Nian unsealed the first jug, throwing it to Long Chen. He also took a jug for himself. It seemed he was planning on competing with Long Chen in jugs. Long Chen was helpless. Seeing Mo Nian's excited expression, he didn't feel right declining. Mo Nian was already starting to work on his jug, so he also raised his jug and began to gulp it down. The Muxu mercenary unit cheered from the side. Long Chen, get the hell out here. Today, 
I'll turn your bones to ashes as revenge for my son. A furious shout reverberated in their ears. Chapter 555 The Weather's Not Bad Translator Born to be this angry roar shook all their eardrums. Long Chen and Mo Nian put down their wine jugs. Looking out the window, they saw dozens of experts on the road outside, blocking the entrance to the restaurant. The crowded street was silent as people fled into the distance, afraid of being implicated. These bystanders all saw that these experts' expressions were extremely gloomy. The person roaring was the giant eagle stronghold's master, a peak Xi'anshan expert, Luo Yingsheng. What's going on? Was Luo's Hongshen killed? No way. Who would kill the future inheritor of the giant eagle stronghold? Long Chen. Why does that name sound familiar? What's going on? Countless people were hiding in the distance, stealthily watching the aggressive Luo Yingsheng. They were filled with shock. Many people had seen Mo Gates Jr. Master enter this restaurant with a group of other people. Now that Luo Yingsheng was blocking the restaurant, it seemed today's matter would be extremely big. Right now, rumors were drifting about King's House City that Mo Gate had offended some major figure and was declining. The three great powers of King Prefecture were being supported by someone and were beginning to devour Mo Gate's territory. Right now, Mo Gate and those three powers were filled with hostility towards each other. Now that Luo Yingsheng had come here with killing intent, it seemed great waves were about to arise within King Prefecture. Who is that person? It seems he's calling me. Long Chen was already slightly drunk now. He's the giant eagle stronghold's master, Luo's Hongsheng's father, Luo Yingsheng, explained Mu Zhu worriedly. It was obvious Luo Yingsheng had come to get revenge for his son. Luo Yingsheng? This name really is shameless. One. No wonder he gave birth to such a shameless son. So it was hereditary. Long Chen curled his lip, feeling this name to be extremely untrue. Luo Yingsheng, don't make such a racket in front of my restaurant. You'll affect my business, shouted Mo Nian. The Muxu mercenary unit's members' expressions became odd. Did this restaurant have any business to affect? However, they did have to admire their courage. That was a peak Xi'anshan expert, the level of King Prefecture's top sect leaders. Yet, they managed to treat him like a disobedient dog. Mo Nian, this matter has nothing to do with you. It'd be best for you to not interfere, as your Mo Gate is no longer the old Mo Gate. Be careful of the day your Mo Gate collapses, Luo Yingsheng shouted back at Mo Nian. Today, I came to find Long Chen to get revenge for my son. This matter has nothing to do with your Mo Gate, so if you dare interfere, don't blame me for not being polite. Mo Nian was furious. How was this matter unrelated to Mo Gate? They were the ones that had targeted Mo Gate not wanting him to be able to obtain the hidden ground spider's core. He was about to say something when Long Chen stopped him. How come I feel like you like to fight with words all the time? If everything could be solved by talking reasonably, what would be the point of cultivating? Mo Nian agreed with him. Even if he said that this was all because the giant eagle stronghold was targeting Mo Gate, there was no proof. What could he do? Sigh. This child. Mo Nian's guts are still too small. He needs more tempering. In a private room within the restaurant across the street, a tall elder was sitting in his chair, sighing with disappointment. This elder's hair and beard were white as snow, and he had many deep wrinkles. He appeared so old that it was a bit frightening, but sitting there, his back was straight as a mountain, and his gaze was incredibly sharp. He seemed like a blade that had been sheathed for countless years, his aura extremely intimidating. Father, perhaps I was too soft-hearted. I didn't give Mo Nian enough instruction sighed a middle-aged man beside him. That person was precisely Mo Nian's father, Mo Yunshin. As for the elderly man, he was King Prefecture's top expert, the previous master of Mo Gate, Mo Yi. Mo Yi shook his head. It's not that you didn't instruct your child enough, but that perhaps our method was flawed. Mo Nian has experienced many dangers, more dangers than anyone else. We didn't give him much assistance either. He reached his level by relying on his own strength. Now that there are people intentionally targeting Mo Gate, we intentionally haven't made any moves, all to see what he would do in the face of these unforeseen events. Although this child Mo Nian is smart, he isn't daring enough. All he knows how to do is strike back when struck. He doesn't know how to take the initiative to attack. How could I possibly leave Mo Gate to him like this? With his indecisive temperament, he'll cause Mo Gate to decline. If that happens, I'll have no way to face the ancestors when I die. Mo Yunshin was silent to that. It was truly difficult to change a person's temperament like Mo Nian. Our Mo family's teachings preach that Mo Gate can be destroyed, but it can't be allowed to decline. Even when the final person is facing death, 
he cannot bend his spine. Each time I curse him, saying a child who doesn't know how to stir up any trouble can't have any big accomplishments in the future, he doesn't dare do anything. Even after such obvious instructions, the only big thing he's ever done is piss in my wine pot, sighed Mo Yi, shaking his head. Mo Yunchen looked at the distant Long Chen and Mo Nian. He also couldn't help but sigh. Mo Nian's style of handling things truly was slightly different from the Mo family's style. He was lacking a kind of domineeringness. If a leader didn't have any daring, always acting careful and overcautious, then no matter how strong a sect was, it would still begin to decline. Being wrong wasn't something to be afraid of. Only once you were wrong would you know what was right. Only then would you know what growth was. Paying a price for making a mistake was fine. The more frightening thing to be afraid of was not even having the courage to make a mistake. Then you would truly be done for. That was also what Mo Nian's grandfather was most worried about. This Long Chen is pretty good. He possesses a kind of wild nature. One that desires to struggle free of all restrictions. Anything that tries to block him has to be eliminated without hesitation. This kind of character is very good and filled with a desire to advance courageously no matter what. If he has the intelligence to match his strength, he'll grow up to a level that even we have to look up to. Looking at Long Chen, a flash of praise appeared in Mo Yi's eyes. Then what should we do now? It's very obvious Luo Yingsheng is trying to show off his strength to Mo Gate. If we still don't counterattack, we really will lose all our face. Now. More and more powers are starting to maintain a distance from us. In fact, some of them even dare challenge us now. The pill tower has cut us off from medicinal pills, and they've also begun encroaching upon our businesses. We have to strike back, said Mo Yunshin. Ah, Yunshin, do you know why I still refuse to hand over the gate master position to you? Mo Yi looked at Mo Yunshin profoundly. I don't. Perhaps I'm not strong enough, said Mo Yunshin. You're wrong. In your generation, your strength is the greatest in the family. In terms of qualifications, you are only second to me. That's enough to convince everyone. There are two reasons I can't hand Mo Gate to you. You are strong, and you've already touched the sea expansion barrier in just 47 years. You might reach half-step sea expansion at any moment. That's enough to count you as a peak genius. The main reason is because you still are not domineering enough. Domineeringness isn't something you display on the outside, but something you keep in your heart. It refers to how you handle things. The other reason is that you aren't smart enough. Do you know why I let Mo Gate just endure all this silently? Asked Mo Yi. To give pressure to Mo Nian so he can rise. Asked Mo Yunshin. That's why I said you aren't smart enough. People who are unable to see an opportunity within danger are unsuitable to be a leader. Our current situation is an opportunity for Mo Gate. After countless years, most people have already forgotten that the Mo family was once an ancient family. After being away from the ancient family alliance for so long, people assume we've already completely declined and have placed their intentions on our Mogate. HMPH. This time I'm intentionally acting weak so that those idiots start to get confident. When the opportunity comes, we'll completely eradicate all of those people targeting us, using the most direct method to tell those idiots that it hasn't reached the point where they can target us. Even in the ancient era, when there were tens of thousands of noble families, our Mo Gate was still always in the top hundred. We weren't in existence others could place their intentions on. The reason the Pill Tower is giving a blow to us isn't because of the conflict in the Jiuli secret realm. That is just their pretense. The Pill Tower has definitely received some kind of benefit from someone for them to act this way. Said Mo Yi. You're saying there's an ancient family targeting us? Who? Tell me and I'll kill them. Mo Yunchen clenched his teeth. So this had actually been part of a huge scheme. This is another reason I can't hand Mo Gate to you. It's because you can't control your temper. So it's difficult for you to accomplish anything big. Mo Yi looked at Mo Yunchen with a bit of disappointment. You're right. Child admits his failings. Mo Yunchen's heart trembled. There are still many things for you to learn. Just take it one step at a time. Let's just watch and see how these two children handle this scene. Said Mo Yi. Right now. Mo Nian was still choking on what Long Chen had just said, but the reality was just like that. If talking reason could solve everything, everyone would just sit down and talk. How could there still be so many conflicts? How could there be a righteous and corrupt path? Then what should we do? Asked Mo Nian. Really? You, the grand junior master of Mo Gate, have people come to your front door hurling abuses, and you're asking me what to do? Just who is the boss of King Prefecture? It's your Mo Gate. Your position already determines what you have to do. If your opponent wants to force you, 
then just kill them with a single slap. Have you ever seen an elephant trample an ant and then apologize to it, saying it wasn't on purpose? Have you ever seen a dragon pierce through the clouds and then ask some small birds if it could borrow their space? Just how much have you drunk for you to become this stupid? When people want to target you, you're just going to endure it because you have no evidence, raged Long Chen. But even if we were to fight, don't we need a reason first? Asked Mo Nian. Fine. You want a reason? Let me give you one. Long Chen pointed at the sky. Today, the weather's not bad. Chapter 556 Taking Action Translator Born to be today, the weather is excellent. Perfect for killing people, said Long Chen. Fuck, that's a bit too implausible, isn't it? Mo Nian was dumbfounded. Because the weather was good, he would kill people? Do you care if it's implausible? Ask those idiots down there. Do the people secretly targeting your Mo family need to give a reason? Long Chen pointed at Luo Yingsheng. This time, Long Chen didn't conceal his voice at all. Practically the entire street heard it clearly. Those countless spectators were dumbfounded. Ha ha ha, this Long Chen really is interesting. Mo Yi couldn't help laughing upon seeing Long Chen and Mo Nian flushed with excitement. This little fellow Long Chen really doesn't know the meaning of fear. Back then, he was only at the Tendon Transformation Realm and still dared to charge into the first monastery on his own. Treating over a hundred Xi'anshan experts as nothing more than air, praised Mo Yunshan. That memory was still deeply imprinted in his mind. That kind of heroism was truly worthy of admiration. That was something unrelated to cultivation base. Instead, it was the courage to be unafraid of death. Even if he had to die, he would pull all those people with him. That kind of ruthlessness was truly startling. Long Chen, you really must want to die. You killed my beloved son. So today, if I don't turn your bones to ashes, I won't be surnamed Luo shouted Luo Yingsheng. Long Chen looked at him disdainfully. What does your surname have to do with me? I'm not your dad. Luo Yingsheng almost exploded in fury. He roared. Long Chen, if you have any courage, you'll come down and fight. Long Chen couldn't help being startled. He asked Mo Nian, why do I have to go down? Can't he come up? This is one of my Mo Gates businesses. If he dared intrude, that would be a public declaration of war against Mo Gate. So he doesn't dare, sneered Mo Nian. All right, then just let him stand there stupidly. We can keep drinking. Long Chen was somewhat speechless. What kind of broken rules were these? He really was unable to make sense of it. He decided to just directly ignore Luo Yingsheng. Didn't he like to play games with these stupid rules? Then he could keep playing. Long Chen and Mo Nian once more began drinking. Seeing them ignore him, Luo Yingsheng turned green with rage. He had an urge to charge straight into the restaurant and kill Long Chen, but he had too many misjivings. Now was still not the time for an all-out war against Mo Gate. You, go and curse that brat Long Chen out here. Luo Yingsheng suddenly pointed to a Xi'anshan expert beside him. A total of 37 people had come with Luo Yingsheng. They were all Xi'anshan experts. Long Chen, you coward. If you have any guts at all, you'll get out here. As I see it, you're just a tortoise. That person was helpless and could only thicken his face to curse. For a Xi'anshan expert to curse people like a shrew was humiliating. But he didn't dare ignore Luo Yingsheng's orders. Those hidden experts all shook their heads at his actions. This was too embarrassing to watch. Long Chen, you son of a BTCH. You as that person continued to curse. A figure suddenly appeared in front of him. Haha, <laughs> you finally come. His delighted cry was interrupted. A blood-colored saber sliced off his head. Mo Nian and the others were all startled. Long Chen had just been drinking with them when he had suddenly disappeared. When they hastily looked down, they just managed to catch Long Chen's saber send that person's head flying. Long Chen, hand back my son's life. Luo Yingsheng was delighted, not giving a damn about the death of that Xi'anshan expert. He immediately sent a fist crashing at him. That shocked everyone. Luo Yingsheng was wearing a steel glove that was covered with runes. The terrifying aura coming from it marked it as a powerful Xi'anshan weapon. This fist caused the void to tremble. Luo Yingsheng was clearly planning on killing Long Chen in one strike. Fuck off. Long Chen's saber slashed out. An immense explosion rang out when it struck Luo Yingsheng's gloved fist. The bricks inlaid on this large road all crumbled, and Luo Yingsheng was actually sent flying. How powerful. Even the hidden spectators were stunned. They all saw that Long Chen had attacked relying entirely on his physical strength. Just the power of his physical body was enough to send a peak Xi'anshan expert flying. That kind of physical body was too terrifying. Even Mo Yi had never seen such a terrifying physical body before. Kill him. 
The experts from the giant eagle stronghold were startled, but they all took out their weapons and charged at him. Boom. A huge arrow landed in front of them, causing an immense explosion that knocked them away. They looked up in shock. Mo Nian was holding his bow, looking icily at them. His aura was gradually rising, giving them a powerful pressure. Even these Xi'anshan experts were suppressed by his aura. Nianer has finally taken action, sighed Mo Yunshan. If he still didn't do anything, I'd have to expel him from Mo Gate. How did I, Mo Yi, end up having such a good for nothing grandson? Mo Yi's expression was slightly ugly. He had greatly hoped for Mo Nian to be the one to take the initiative, not Long Chen. If it was Mo Nian who took the initiative, then it meant he had the heart to protect his friends. It would have been in the spirit of loyalty, but for him to only take action now, the significance was completely different. So Mo Yi was actually extremely angry. If you were to just tolerate anything that happened to you, why would you even bother cultivating? What would be the point of having a higher cultivation base? Take the big picture into consideration? That was just nonsense. If you couldn't even handle yourself, how could you handle the big picture? Mo Yi's expression was as black as the bottom of a pot. Mo Yunchen didn't dare say a single word upon seeing his father's expression. Once Mo Nian returned home, he would probably be given another beating. What do you think you're doing? Mo Nian, Long Chen roared furiously at Mo Nian. Are you just playing around? Even at this time, you'll still follow the rules of their stupid game? Do you know how many of your allies will die while you waste your time following their rules? Do you know how many sinister blades are pointed at your Mo Gate? Do you know that if I hadn't been there, every single member of the Muxu mercenary unit would have been killed? Do you know just how many people will lose their lives while you hesitate? If you have this kind of character, then don't bother calling yourself my brother. I don't have cowards like you as my brothers. Suddenly, Luo Yingchen leaped forward again, no longer holding anything back, sending a fist smashing towards Long Chen. Die. Mountain breaking fist. An ear piercing sound rang out. This fist's power seemed to be about to shatter the void. You should die instead. Long Chen roared, and he swung his saber at Luo Yingchen with fury. He was extremely dissatisfied with Mo Nian. Just now. He could have easily killed a few of these Xi'anshan experts, but he hadn't, instead just knocking them back. What was he trying to do? Warn them? When enemies bullied their way to your home, would they care about your warning? Was he playing around? There were times to be a badass, but if your timing was off, then you would be a dumbass instead. Now was clearly not the right time. So Long Chen was furious with Mo Nian, but he also couldn't release it on him, with nowhere else to release it. Luo Yingcheng had become the target for his anger. Boom. The ground erupted, and Luo Yingcheng was like a shooting star as he flew back. Explosions echoed continuously as Luo Yingcheng carved a large path into the road. Boundless broken bits of rock flew out, turning the surrounding buildings into a mess. Piercing cloud arrow. Suddenly, a cold shout rang out following Long Chen's saber, and a large arrow flew out. This arrow enveloped all those Xi'anshan experts from the giant eagle stronghold. Miserable screams rang out. Those people had all been focused on Long Chen's saber. Several of them directly exploded upon being struck by the arrow. As for the others, they were all sent flying, wildly vomiting blood. Those distant spectators were all startled. Mo Nian was finally truly attacking. This was a real declaration of war. HMPH. This arrow is at least slightly acceptable. Mo Yi snorted, but he couldn't conceal his pride. The power of the arrow wasn't what he cared about. Instead, it was the fact that Mo Nian had finally thrown off the shackles in his heart and taken his first step. Mo Nian appeared beside Long Chen. Thank you, Long Chen. I know what to do now. Ha ha ha. Long Chen laughed and hit Mo Nian in the chest. This is how my brother should be. Pay back debts of gratitude and enmity no matter who tries to stop you. What's the point of having so many misjivings? If you weren't the junior master of Mo Gate, would you choose not to cultivate? Stop caring so much about your status and definitely stop being afraid of bringing trouble to your sect if a sect is afraid of any trouble, then it means their destiny has long since run out. Long Chen's words made Mo Yi and Mo Yunchen not inside. Long Chen's character was something they admired, but his next words made them speechless. Even if the heavens collapse, won't you have your uncle to help you? If your uncle isn't strong enough, won't you have your father? If your father and uncle aren't enough. Won't you still have your family's patriarch? Furthermore, before your uncle left, didn't he secretly tell us that we could do whatever we want without any misjivings? Said Long Chen. Did my uncle ever say something like that? Asked Mo Nian. 1. 
Didn't your uncle say that with the two of us together, we can dominate the king prefecture? We haven't dominated anything yet, but our enemies have already come to find us. Then us two brothers should really see whether or not we can dominate the king prefecture, said Long Chen. Mo Nian's eyes brightened as he recalled that matter. Good. Then today we'll throw caution to the wind and kill these bastards. Long Chen. Mo Nian. You can both die. Suddenly, a heaven-shaking row rang out and a terrifying pressure descended. An immense fist image smashed towards the two of them. Mo Nian's expression changed. Chapter 557 Bloodrinker Revives Translator Born to be he has activated his Xi'anchen weapon. That fist image was 300 meters wide. Shocking everyone. Had Luo Yingchen gone crazy? He wanted to kill Mo Nian? Mo Nian was the successor of Mo Gate. If he was killed, then King's Hao City would be turned into a complete mess. When Luo Yingchen had begun secretly accumulating his energy, Mo Yanchen had already noticed and had been preparing to block him. You don't need to do anything, said Mo Yi. But that's an attack from a Xi'anchen weapon. Nian Er can't block it. Mo Yanchen was stunned. Mo Gate's core technique focused on offense, not defense. Mo Nian didn't possess such great defensive abilities. So what if he can't block it? It'll only cause some injuries. When did my Mo family's men become so fragile? Asked Mo Yi. I know you love your son, but a tree needs to be able to survive storms on its own, and an eagle needs to rely on its own power to spread its wings and fly. Can you protect him for a lifetime? When Mo Yanchen didn't reply, Mo Yi continued. Just watch. I won't let anything happen to Nian Er or Long Chen. But now is still not the time for us to appear. As they finished speaking, Luo Yingcheng finished storing up energy, and his immense fist image tightly locked Long Chen and Mo Nian down. Mo Nian's expression changed. An attack from a Xi'anchen weapon was something even he couldn't block. But now that he was locked down, he could only face it head on. Don't move. Let me try something. Long Chen pushed Mo Nian behind him. Divine Ring. A 300 meter divine ring appeared behind Long Chen. It was like a red and orange rainbow behind him, and in that instant, a berserk aura soared into the sky. At the same time, a will to break free from the restrictions of the world and look down on all spread. A terrifying pressure grew. Long Chen slowly raised his blood-colored saber. He was just about to use split the heavens when a cry came from the saber, and its blood-red runes lit up. A sharp aura soared from it as if it had received some kind of energy that was reviving it. Long Chen was delighted as he sensed a spiritual message come from Bloodrinker's spirit. In that instant, a resonance formed between their souls. So that's what it was. Before, I wasn't strong enough to activate your power. Then today, let's see what your true power is. You can take as much of my spiritual key as you want. Long Chen didn't use any techniques. He simply randomly slashed his saber at the oncoming fist image. Boom. Bloodrinker's blood red runes lit up, and in front of everyone's horrified expressions, that fist image, which was formed from countless runes, was cut in two. Not only that, but that blood red saber key also continued forward, mercilessly landing on Luo Yingcheng. That's, Mo Yi stood up in shock, looking at Long Chen's saber. Luo Yingcheng's expression completely changed. He had never imagined Long Chen's saber would possess such terrifying power. Seeing this immense saber image slashing down on him, he knew that if it hit him, even a hundred lives wouldn't be enough. He suddenly formed a hand seal, and a bronze statue appeared in front of him. The statue was of a dark blue eagle spreading its wings. The statue was only the size of a fist at first, but it instantly grew to a size of 300 meters. The Saber key crashed heavily onto the huge statue. All of King's House City rocked from the impact. However, that eagle statue was still able to block that seemingly unblockable attack. But Luo Yingcheng continuously vomited blood, and his forehead split open appearing incredibly frightening. The statue quickly shrank back down and was taken back by Luo Yingcheng. Cloud-piercing arrow. In that instant when Luo Yingcheng took back his statue and was vomiting blood, a huge arrow arrived in front of him. That was Mo Nian's attack. Mo Nian had been cursed awake by Long Chen, and he no longer had any misjivings. Since he had taken action, he definitely wouldn't hold back, not giving up any chance to kill his opponent. What Mo Nian didn't know was that this action of his had saved him from a beating. He had won his grandfather's praise. Luo Yingcheng had already activated his Xi'anchen weapon, which had used up over half his Xi'anchen power. Later, he had then summoned out his family's treasure. Although it had managed to block Long Chen's attack, that had basically used up all his remaining energy. The thing that horrified him the most was that blocking Long Chen's attack with the statue had greatly shaken his soul. 
and he had almost been killed from the impact. His soul had felt like it was about to be torn apart. Now that Mo Nian's attack arrived, he found himself powerless to dodge. He could only watch with terror as that arrow approached him. Bang! A large hand smashed apart the arrow, and a white-robed elder appeared in front of Luo Yingsheng. He was the one who had saved his life. It's the Pure River Valley's master, Sun Changshao. The hidden spectators all let out startled cries upon recognizing this person. The Pure River Valley, the Sky Cry Mansion, and the Giant Eagle Stronghold were known as King Prefecture's three great powers. They were the strongest sects other than Mogate. Now that the Pure River Valley's master had saved Luo Yingsheng, it made many people guess that this was premeditated. At such a young age, you're already so vicious. Let me take the place of your family to teach you a lesson. The Pure River Valley's master snorted, and his palm slammed forward. Countless runes revolved around this palm, and a fierce astral wind attacked Long Chen and Mo Nian. Long Chen and Mo Nian's heart sank. They could both see that this old fellow was most likely a half step C expansion expert for him to be able to keep his runes within the air. Suddenly, a golden arrow shot out like a bolt of lightning, arriving right in front of Sun Changshao in an instant. Sun Changshao's expression changed, and he had no choice but to give up his attack. Dodging to the side, the arrow shot right past his body, piercing into the ground and disappearing. It merely left behind a small hole in the ground. What shocked everyone was that whether it was when the arrow was first shot or when it pierced into the ground, there was no sound at all. It was so bizarre that it made their hair stand on end. It seems that you, Sun Changshao, are not qualified to teach my child a lesson, right? Mo Yunchen appeared beside Long Chen and Mo Nian. After saying one icy sentence, he didn't even look at the stunned Sun Changshao. He patted Long Chen and Mo Nian on the shoulders. Good brats, you've grown up. Greetings, Uncle Mo. Long Chen hastily bowed. It's all right. Our Mo Gate doesn't have so many repulsive rules, so there's no need to be so polite. Once this matter here ends, your Uncle Mo will hold a welcoming dinner for you. Mo Yunchen smiled. Long Chen and Mo Nian's display today had greatly satisfied Mo Yi. Mo Yunchen rarely saw his father so excited. Mo Yunchen, you, you've actually touched the barrier. Sun Changsha was stunned. Do you think I'm trash like you and would only touch that barrier after 800 years? Do you think I'd be as stupid as you and proudly announce it to everyone? Sneered Mo Yunchen. You even want to teach my child a lesson? With your kind of conduct. Do you really think you're capable? Do you believe me when I say I can make it impossible for you to leave here alive? Mo Yunshin, don't you think you're a bit too wild to say such big words when you've only just touched the barrier? Suddenly, a sinister voice rang out and a withered old man carrying a cane walked over. It's the Sky Cry Mansion's master, Wang Yishin. It seems he has also long since arrived and is only revealing himself now. Are they planning to start a war with Mo Gate? Those distant spectators were all astonished. Ever since the Jiuli secret realm closed, King Prefecture had begun to change. The three great powers, which had previously constantly been suppressed by Mogate, had begun to target Mogate in secret. Not only had they begun secretly ruining their businesses, but they had also gradually begun to compete with them openly for their resources. Furthermore, the previously incomparably domineering Mogate had just endured it the whole time, puzzling everyone. At this time, there were rumors that Mogate might appear powerful, but they were actually very weak and had already declined, which was why they were unable to compete with the three great powers. There were also some rumors that the pill tower had cut the Mo family off from medicinal pills, which made those people feel like Mogate was doomed. Once you were enemies with the pill tower, the only path left for you was death. But now, their struggle had exploded in scale because of a single outsider. Their behind-the-scenes struggle was about to turn into an all-out war. The leaders of the three great powers had all appeared, shocking everyone. I can be wild because I'm young, but you are halfway to your grave already. Even if you wanted to be wild, you wouldn't have the energy. Mo Yunchen wasn't the slightest bit surprised by Wang Yishen's arrival. Wang Yishen was even older than Sun Changshao. It seemed he had lived over 1500 years and could truly be considered an old monster. However, he had only touched the barrier after a thousand years, reaching half-step sea expansion. It was essentially an impossibility for him to reach the sea expansion realm. Currently, his lifespan had already mostly run out. He only had a few years left in him. All his energy was focused on extending his life, which was why he seemed like a living skeleton. Uncle Mo, if you didn't say he was halfway to his grave, I would have thought he was a zombie that had crawled out of his tomb. My eyes really have been opened to a greater world. 
Long Chen curiously looked at Wang Yishan as if he were a monster. Brat, you must want to die. Don't land in my hands, or I'll definitely make you live a life worse than death. Wang Yishan glared hatefully at Long Chen. You want to absorb my essence blood? He, I see. So that must be how you extend your lifespan. Otherwise, considering your basically exhausted spiritual fluctuations, you should have long since become unable to move. There's no need for you to refuse to admit it, because other than this method, there's no way you would still be standing there, said Long Chen. Long Chen's words caused huge waves amongst the spectators, and many of their expressions changed. Wang Yishan, you bastard, hand back my son's life. A furious shout rang out. Chapter 558 Publicly Criticized Translator Born to be Long Chen's words caused chaos amongst those hidden spectators, because during the past few years, young geniuses from King Prefecture had continuously disappeared mysteriously. Those geniuses all had cultivation bases that had reached at least the meridian opening realm, and they were essentially their sect's favorites that they had raised with all their might. However, somehow, they had vanished one by one. Some of them disappeared inside the city, some of them disappeared outside the city. There were even some that were cultivating inside their own sects when they suddenly vanished without a trace. These strange incidents filled King Prefecture's junior experts with panic because it was just too bizarre. Now that Long Chen had said that, Many people realized that this was extremely likely. Wang Yishan was a withered old skeleton now. Perhaps he really had some secret technique that allowed him to absorb essence blood to extend his lifespan. Those geniuses that had disappeared had been in their early 20s, the perfect moment when their blood key was at its peak state. Now, many people found it to be far more than a coincidence. Wang Yishan, you got MN wretch. Hand back my son's life. Bastard. Was my secluded disciple also killed by you? Wang Yishan. You old half-breed. My nephew was also definitely killed by you. Those hidden spectators jumped out to rage at Wang Yishan. During the past hundred years, too many of King Prefecture's junior geniuses had disappeared. Perhaps the only one who could sneak into other people's sects and snatch their disciples without anyone finding any clues was an expert who had at least reached the half-stepsy expansion realm. There were only a few half-stepsy expansion experts in all of King's house city. So few that you could count them with your fingers. Of those people, only Wang Yishan was approaching his grave. Most importantly, according to his age, he should have died decades ago. However, he was still alive. Now that Long Chen said this, the evident facts needed no hard evidence. How? How can you all just believe his lies? He's intentionally trying to slander me, cried Wang Yishan in panic. You? Please. Who do you think I, Long Chen, am? A trash person like you isn't worth me slandering. Anyone with eyes can see your spiritual fluctuations are already practically dead. However, your blood key fluctuations are still normal. But if you really were innocent, your blood key and spiritual fluctuations should be similar to each other. With such an obvious gap in your alibi, why would I even need to slander you? Said Long Chen disdainfully. Now that he said this, everyone came to a sudden comprehension. The only thing they sensed from Wang Yishan was his aura. But they hadn't sensed his spiritual fluctuations. Now, they didn't have any more misjivings and sent their spiritual strength surging towards Wang Yishan. Using spiritual strength to examine another person was incredibly disrespectful. That was like stripping a woman of her clothes to examine all her secrets. It would create great enmity between the two parties. You, you're all courting death. Seeing this many people's spiritual strength surging towards him, Wang Yishan was furious, but panic flashed in his eyes. Buzz. Suddenly, Sun Changsha waved his hand and a powerful spiritual strength surged out of him. Those people trying to examine Wang Yishan let out miserable cries, and they held their heads in agony. For you to insult the Sky Cry Mansion's master like this, are you declaring war against the Sky Cry Mansion? Shouted Sun Changshao. A cover-up only makes it worse, sneered Long Chen. But what Long Chen hadn't expected was that these impassioned people, who had wanted to kill Wang Yishan just now, actually became silent now, right now. The three great powers had joined hands to target Mogate, but these people were just a bunch of weaklings. Although they were furious, they didn't dare charge into this huge vortex. In the end, they still simply endured it. Do you see? This is what it means to be an overcautious coward. Their own children were killed, but they still swallow their anger. I can guarantee that even if their wives were taken by others, they would still grin and bear it because of their big picture. When people first decide to step onto the path of cultivation, they are filled with hot blood and are fearless. But as they concede to others more and more, they will become a coward. 
Such people are unable to control their family's fate, and they're also unable to control their own fate. The cultivation world is just like that. The more you fear death, the easier it will be for you to die. You, Mo Nian, have already become accustomed to taking the big picture into consideration. If you continue to make it your habit to concede, then these people will be your future, said Long Chen. Mo Nian's heart shook and he even began to sweat. Looking at these people's furious expressions and how unwilling they were, he immediately understood what Long Chen meant. If Mo Nian was in their position, would he also choose to swallow his anger in front of an enormous existence he couldn't possibly withstand? If you simply swallowed your anger for the so-called big picture, what were you cultivating for? What were you living for? A harsh light shone in his eyes. He unconsciously puffed out his chest, and a formless aura slowly began to rise out of his body. Mo Yunchen looked at his son, and he clenched his hands that were hidden within his sleeves. He could sense the change in Mo Nian's mental realm. This was a kind of transformation, and this transformation could bring him endless benefits. At the same time as he was excited, he also felt a bit ashamed. He had been with his son for so long, but the only way he knew how to communicate with his son was with his fists. He had never communicated with Mo Nian like Long Chen had, or perhaps his son would not have had that kind of temperament. Long Chen, you can stop trying to sow dissension. It's already faded that you'll be unable to leave King's Hao City alive. Wang Yishan now hated Long Chen to the bone. He had done things perfectly for this many years, not leaving behind a single clue as to his actions. But now he had been exposed. Sowing dissension? Let me say it again. Who do you think I, Long Chen, am? A piece of trash like you isn't worth me sowing dissension, said Long Chen lightly. His words didn't even place this half step expansion expert in his eyes. That wasn't to show off but a contempt that came from the depths of his bones. The domineeringness Long Chen had displayed made everyone apprehensive. Long Chen's confidence all came from himself and not some outer strength. That was an arrogant will to look down on all. This Long Chen is very interesting. Within a secret corner, there were two women looking at Long Chen. One of them was roving her gaze over him. Has big sister taken a fancy to him? Then do you want to see if he is your legendary soulmate? Laughed the other woman. Foolish girl. You're once again babbling nonsense. Is a soulmate so easy to find? I just feel that this Long Chen seems to have caused the entire world to become discordant. It's a very strange feeling. How come I can't sense that? All I feel is that he's very handsome and lofty. I wonder how challenging it is to seduce such a man. He, little girl, looks like your heart really is reluctant to leave the mundane world. Do you want to stop cultivating? If you spout nonsense again, I'll have to give you a spanking. Ah, don't say any more, or others will notice us. Noveloon.com on the street. Swords were drawn and bows were bent. On one side were the three great power sect leaders while on the other side were Mo Yunshin, Long Chen, and Mo Nian. Mo Yunshin looked at the three of them, impatiently saying, if you have something to say, then say it. If you have farts to release, then release them. If you want to fight, then let's hurry up and fight. If you don't, then fuck off. I still have to hold a welcoming dinner for my nephew. I don't have time for your crap. The three of them only dared to move their mouths, not their fists, causing him to become impatient. But Long Chen saw something within their eyes. HMPH, Mo Yunshin, don't think yourself to be so amazing just because you've managed to touch the barrier. You still need some time to truly reach half step C expansion. This is King's House City, and we're worried about people's safety. So we'll leave this matter here for today. But don't let your Mo family assume this matter will end just like this. Now that your Mo family has been cut off from medicinal pills, you'll inevitably decline. I'd advise you to be a bit more obedient or the consequences will be very dire, said Sun Chang Shao icily. Ha 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 ha, Mo Yunchen raised his head and laughed. An arrow suddenly shot straight toward Sun Chang Shao. Sun Chang Shao was shocked, never imagining Mo Yunchen would dare do such a thing. Before he could do anything, the arrow was already right in front of him. He hastily slammed his palm forward. Bang! His palm shattered the arrow, but he was blown back dozens of meters, appearing extremely miserable. You can cut the crap. Let's fight. Mo Yunchen raised his bow grandly, taking his fighting posture. You, fine, count yourself as vicious. We're leaving. Sun Changsha was furious, but in the end, he still left with Luo Yingsheng and Wang Yishan. Watching them leave, Mo Yunchen's expression was disdainful. He said to Mo Nian, Our Mo family's men don't use our mouths when we can use our fists. Our strong point isn't our spit. Our strong point is killing people. 
you have to learn how to take advantage of your strengths to resolve your problems. Only then can you make the most profit efficiently. Mo Nian's mental realm had changed today. Although Mo Yunchen had said the same words to him many times before, today, he finally understood their true meaning. I understand. Dad. Mo Nian nodded. Haha. <laughs> Good. Then let's go back to Mo Gate and drink. Mo Yunchen led Long Chen and Mo Nian away. Long Chen and Mo Nian invited the Muxu mercenary unit to join them, but they diplomatically refused. After all, they were not on the same level. Going to Mo Gate would definitely make them feel ill at ease. They preferred their freedom. Long Chen didn't force them. Saying goodbye, he said that they could come to find him at Mo Gate at any time. Once they left, the spectators also disappeared. Mo Yi looked at the almost destroyed street, a flash of suspicion appearing in his eyes. Has the time still not come? They actually retreated again. He, interesting. Mo Yi looked towards a certain direction. He sensed a powerful existence there. That existence should also be able to sense him. However, neither of them made any movements. They simply watched each other through space for a moment before they both disappeared. Everyone's gone. How boring. I thought there'd be an exciting battle. The two women walked out. They were wearing robes and bamboo hats that hid their faces and figures. Don't complain. Let's hurry up and return. Night's coming and if we still don't go back, we'll be scolded by the pavilion master. The two mysterious women also disappeared from the street. In the end, only the disorderly mess in the street remained to mark what had happened. Chapter 559 Mogate Translator Born to be Mogate was located on the north side of King's House City. It wasn't too large, only taking up an area of 300 miles. All of Mogate was situated at a large stone mountain, looking just like an ancient city of stone. Currently, the core experts of the Mo family were gathered within a large hall. The only outsider present was Long Chen. Here, he saw a truly world-shaking figure, Mo Gate's current master. This tall, mountain-like elder made him feel an unprecedented pressure. He seemed like a massive volcano. Once he erupted, it could destroy the world. In front of Mo Yi, Long Chen felt himself to be as minuscule as an ant. That aura from him was even more terrifying than Chu Wuhan's. Little fellows, your display today was really not bad. You've gained some face for Mo Gate. Mo Yi said to Long Chen and Mo Nian. You overpraise. All I know how to do is cause a bit of trouble, said Long Chen. As for Mo Nian, he had originally been standing side by side with Long Chen. But as soon as Mo Yi came over, he involuntarily shivered and took a step back. Little brat, what are you retreating for? Mo Yi's expression sank and he glared at Mo Nian. His tall stature and mountain-like imposingness made his glare so intimidating that even Long Chen jumped. Just now, he had been so amicable. How did he turn hostile in just an instant? The Mo family's experts were astonished not by this change, but by how pleased their old man had been acting. It had to be known that for as long as they had known him, they had rarely seen him speak so pleasantly. His praise for Mo Nian and Long Chen was unprecedented, but seeing Mo Nian cowering, his fury immediately soared. I. I'm afraid you'll hit me. I can't beat you so. Why can't I retreat? Raged Mo Nian. So, you're saying if you could beat me, you'd fight me. Mo Yi's expression sank. Who knew what was going on with Mo Nian today? But with Long Chen by his side, it seemed his guts had grown a great deal. And he shouted. Even ten years aren't too late for revenge. I remember every single beating you gave me. There will sooner or later come a day when I repay it all. The entire hall became silent as everyone looked at Mo Nian oddly. Ha ha ha. Mo Yi suddenly laughed and appeared right in front of Mo Nian. Mo Nian reflexively raised his arms to protect his head. But unexpectedly, Mo Yi just patted him on the shoulder and praised. Good. I suppose you have at least a slight backbone. I'll wait to see whether you can get your revenge within the next ten years. Mo Nian was stunned. It seemed that in all his living memory, he had never received such nice words from his grandfather. Don't just stupidly stand there. Hurry up and eat. Today, Nyaner's friend has come, and we'll take Nyaner's place to hold a welcoming celebration for Long Chen, laughed Mo Yi. He was extremely happy today. He was smiling more than he had in the past few decades. Long Chen noticed that all those who could sit in this place were Mo Gate's core experts. They were all Xianchen experts, and he was shocked to see there were over 300 of them. They really were worthy of being King Prefecture's ruler. This was an overwhelming strength. However, Long Chen noticed that Mo Nian, their junior gate master, didn't seem to have any special status here. Only after he asked Mo Nian did he learn that these people were all Mo Nian's seniors. 
The only reason he even had the qualifications to eat with them was because of his status. Mo Gate cared a great deal about seniority and strength. Mo Nian's title of Junior Gate Master didn't give them any special feeling. If he relied on his status to act arrogant in front of them, then these people would immediately give him a beating. Just mentioning that made Mo Nian furious. Usually, a family's junior master would be above the masses. But instead, he was often put in his place. It was truly stifling. However, the leader of Mo Gate had already said that junior master was just a title. If he wanted to convince everyone, he needed enough strength. But these people here were all Xi'anshan experts. Mo Nian could only be suppressed. Mo Yi especially had already broken Mo Nian's courage in that regard. And each time he saw his grandfather, he would cower. Dad, tell me, what drugs did those three idiots take today? Even after it reached that point, they still retreated. Once everyone had eaten their fill, Mo Yanshan asked the question that had been on his mind. Mo Yi smiled slightly. According to their previous arrangements, they probably would have tried to have a large battle with us in the near future to test our power. However, Long Chen's arrival skewed their plans. That Luo Yingsheng's son ended up being killed, and so he went to go find Long Chen. The other two should have received the news and decided that they weren't prepared enough. However, that shouldn't be the main reason. Instead, it's because the person behind them ordered them to retreat. Do you know who that person targeting us is? Asked Mo Yunshin. There are quite a few people who have passed grievances with our Mo Gates ancestors. Back then, when we withdrew from the ancient family alliance, we offended many people. Now, tens of thousands of years have passed. Our Mo family has always been low-key, letting those powers believe that we've declined. Now they want to hit us while we're down. He, how laughable. Although I didn't see who they were, I sensed their aura. You don't need to worry. They probably won't personally take action. It's just a bunch of senseless tricks. All you have to remember is to act as you should act. There's no need to have any misjivings. Even if the heavens collapse, I'll be there to keep them up. Mo Yi's voice was full of unconcealable domineeringness. Perhaps it is destined for Long Chen to have come here at this time. In a few days, when it's time for the ancestral inheritance, Long Chen can enter with the others, said Mo Yi. His words surprised everyone, and one person said, but the quota to enter is only 10 and they've long since been taken. Give Mo Zai's spot to Long Chen. His qualifications are the most lacking, and even if he entered, there'd be no hope for him. Even Nian Er only has a 50% chance of succeeding, let alone him. It's better to let Long Chen test his luck, said Mo Yi. But Long Chen isn't a member of the Mo family. Isn't this inappropriate? There's nothing inappropriate about it. I've already said my wish, so just obediently shut up, said Mo Yi. Long Chen was confused. And he asked Mo Nian, what is this ancestral inheritance? Mo Nian whispered, brat, you're very lucky. This ancestral inheritance is something left behind by the top experts our Mo family has produced. Before they died, they sealed their heavenly Dao seed within them so that they could be absorbed by their descendants. Those mighty experts were all celestials. As for celestials, well, forget about it. Even if I explained it, you wouldn't understand. In any case, they are rivalless masters of being badass. If you can obtain that inheritance, your badassedness would shake the heavens. Celestials. Long Chen was startled. Had Yun Wusheng also gained such an inheritance? Our Mo family was once glorious to the peak. Regrettably, I don't know why, but we later declined. We only managed to retain ten statues of our ancestors. Unfortunately, even after all these years, no one has been able to inherit the heavenly Dao seeds inside them. To inherit a heavenly Dao seed requires you to have a strong affinity with it as well as a shocking talent. I feel like you have a high chance, said Mo Nian. I feel like you should give the opportunity to someone else. I most likely won't be up to it. Long Chen shook his head. What kind of joke was that? He was someone expelled by the heavenly Daos. How could that heavenly Dao seed allow itself to be inherited by him? You should tell your old man. I really won't be capable, and it's a shame to waste it, advised Long Chen. TCH, are you trying to get me beaten? You know how tyrannical that man is. The things he decides, no one can change. Even if you don't want to go, you have to go, whispered Mo Nian. TCH, now he had to go even if he didn't want to go? Long Chen bitterly smiled inside. You don't need to worry. This time, we have the hidden ground spider's core. That'll let our Mo family's alchemists refine the nine revolution Dao heart pill. It'll greatly increase our chances of succeeding said Mo Nian, your Mo family's alchemists? 
What quality of nine revolution Dao heart pill can they refine? Asked Long Chen. It seems that if their luck is good, they can refine a one ring high grade medicinal pill, said Mo Nian. Unsure. One ring? Then you should just give the core to me. I'll refine it in a way that's not so wasteful, said Long Chen. You. Mo Nian was doubtful, but he still gave the core to him. You can be at ease, said Long Chen, patting his own chest. The Nine Revolution Dao Heart Pill was a fifth tier medicinal pill. However, now that Long Chen had reached Meridian Opening, his spiritual strength had become even stronger, so it wasn't a problem. After finishing their meal, Mo Yi held a meeting with everyone that had nothing to do with Long Chen and Mo Nian, so the two slipped away. Mo Nian, I still feel like this matter is a bit inappropriate, said Long Chen with hesitation. When did you become like this? This matter was decided by the old man, and no one can change it, said Mo Nian. This probably won't be good for your family's internal harmony. After all, anyone would be mad that their spot was taken, said Long Chen. You're overthinking it. This inheritance isn't so easy to obtain. Not one person has obtained it in tens of thousands of years. My father said that even with my talent, I only have a 50% chance, and that's already incredibly high amongst all our past generations. Other people are basically just extras, and they all know that. It's just a formality. Don't worry, our Mo family's people are all magnanimous men. Mo Nian laughed. How come these words sound completely different from your mouth than from Uncle Mo? Long Chen also laughed. TCH. What are you implying? Are you trying to say I'm not manly enough? Then should we find somewhere to have a little competition? Raged Mo Nian. TCH. If you have that much energy, then you should go kill some more enemies. What competition are you planning to have with me? Long Chen shook his head. Long Chen. Today, you've given me a wake-up call. I really did have too many misjivings. Starting today, I'll return to my true self. Wait here. I'll go to my grandfather's private room and steal some jugs of good wine. Let me say, those are the true fine wine. They've all been stored in cellars for over a thousand years. He, Mo Nian actually involuntarily began to salivate. All right, then go. But make sure not to take the one you pissed in back then, reminded Long Chen. Comma once Mo Nian left, Long Chen just strolled around Mo Nian's small courtyard. The walls of his room had been carved into statues. He was in the midst of examining them when an icy voice rang out. Who are you? Chapter 560 Strange Woman Translator Born to be Long Chen turned back and saw a woman looking at him vigilantly. She had a slender figure. Her long eyebrows framed her phoenix eyes. She was extremely beautiful, but her hair was like a man's, bound behind her head. She gave off a valiant feeling. Her aura was formidable, and her eyes were like swords as she glared at Long Chen. Long Chen's heart involuntarily trembled. This woman was extremely powerful. Long Chen sensed an intense pressure from this woman. That kind of pressure was something even Mo Nian was unable to give him. That made him a bit bewildered. How could there be an even more terrifying genius than Mo Nian in Mo Gate? I am Mo Nian's friend. Although he didn't know who this woman was, he still answered. He thought that rather than reporting his own name, it would be better to say Mo Nian's name. You. You are Long Chen. She asked. She knows me? Long Chen smiled slightly. Yes, but what he hadn't expected was for her expression to immediately sink, and she raged. So it was you. You bastard. You're the one who led Mo Nian astray. Today, just watch as I teach a womanizer like you a lesson. After saying that, she pushed out a palm, and a fierce astral wind enveloped Long Chen. With just a single palm, she sealed off any of his retreat paths. Hey, has there been some sort of misunderstanding? I don't even know you. Long Chen hastily fell back, feeling befuddled. How did this woman turn hostile so quickly? Furthermore, she was attacking within Mo Gate. Her guts were a bit too big. There's no misunderstanding. Ever since Mo Nian got to know you, he began to stray. Today, if I don't teach you a lesson, you'll think all women are easy to bully. The woman snorted upon seeing Long Chen fall back. She didn't move her body, but somehow, her palm seemed to pierce through the restrictions of space to reach him. Long Chen was completely baffled, and he raged. The only reason I'm letting you be so willful is because you're a woman. If you still don't know how to appreciate kindness, don't blame me for attacking. HMPH. Just you. If you could even last 10 exchanges with me, it would count as your win. She snorted, her palm continuing forward. Now, Long Chen had nowhere else to go. In front of this overbearing woman, he couldn't help but feel some rage. That was especially so with how arrogant she was. 
saying that he couldn't even last 10 exchanges. That was definitely bullying. He knew she wasn't a simple woman, and in the face of her valiant palm, he sent out his own fist. A muffled bang rang out. Long Chen was startled. He had already used 30% of his strength, but she wasn't shaken in the slightest. It had to be known that his power had already reached an abnormal level, but this woman was also still relying purely on her physical strength. Her power was definitely shocking. You still dare hold back? Are you looking down on me? HMPH. Then just let me see what qualifications you have to make those countless women favor you. The woman snorted, and suddenly, a vast power erupted from her. The ground beneath their feet became covered with cracks. Long Chen had to hastily circulate his own energy to resist. Looking at that woman, he suddenly understood something. Boom. With the two of them circulating their strength, the powerful force blew up Mo Nian's courtyard. You must be Mo Nian's fianke, correct? Are you trying to destroy Mo Nian's home? How about we just both stop here? It wouldn't be good to alarm the elders, said Long Chen. The way she was clenching her teeth along with the grievance in her words made Long Chen connect her to when Mo Nian had asked Long Chen to teach him his divine pickup techniques. Now that this heroic woman appeared in front of him, he suddenly understood. The bridge of her nose and her lips were thinner than average. Judging strictly by facial appearances, such women tended to be extremely powerful and tough. It was the typical model of a strong woman. Such people all had stubborn temperaments. It was no wonder Mo Nian would be so vexed. Such a woman definitely wouldn't share their man with someone else. HMPH, a pretentious coward without the slightest medal of a man. Even you could manage to captivate a woman? Those women must really have problems with their eyes. She sneered. She was increasing the strength of her palm more and more, without the slightest intent to retreat. The reason I'm still letting you off is because you are Mo Nian's woman. I'm giving face to Mo Nian, so you can insult me. But don't insult my women, because that will make me angry. Long Chen's expression sank and his eyes were like two icy blades. Long Chen's gaze made that woman's heart pound. In that instant, she felt as if an ancient monster had awakened, and an intense sense of danger filled her. HMPH. So what if you're angry? Did you think that just because you have some looks and a bit of power you can play with their emotions? Today, Big Sister will take this chance to teach you a lesson. Don't think yourself to be infallible. Not all women are weak. Not all women need to rely on a man to live. Following her furious roar, her aura completely erupted, feeling like an ocean wave crashing onto the shore. In that instant, she revealed her mid-meridian opening cultivation base. But that vast power was practically irresistible. Long Chen was also furious with her. Her words had ended up touching Menki and the others, and that was something no one could touch. With a snort, his spiritual key began to rapidly circulate within his meridians. Boom. Once again, a powerful explosion rocked Mo Nian's courtyard. Now, nothing remained of it. Long Chen no longer cared. If Mo Nian's girlfriend didn't care, then he shouldn't blame his brother for this. If Mo Nian wanted someone to blame, he could only blame this girlfriend of his. Now, all of Mo Gate was startled. But unexpectedly, when they saw this woman, their expressions became odd and they simply watched from a distance. The higher levels of the Mo family also arrived. When Mo Yi saw the two of them, he just found a place to sit and watch the show. The thing that depressed Long Chen the most was that at some unknown point, Mo Nian had also appeared in the crowd. However, he didn't help. Instead finding a good place to watch. Mo Nian, you little coward. Hurry up and handle your girlfriend. Raged Long Chen. Mo Nian curled his lips. Thinking to himself. Brother, if I could handle her. I would have done it ages ago. Good brothers should share fortune and disaster together. So don't blame me for not standing by you. HMPH. Even if you shout until your throat's sore. No one will help you. The Mo family's rules are just like that. And only strength is respected. Ever since that brat Mo Nian met you, he started to go astray. He's always trying to chase other girls' skirts. I don't even know how many times I've had to sort him out. But that brat still refuses to repent, saying unless I can sort you out too, making you also not fickle in love, he won't live peacefully with just me. Today, I'll make you fully submit so that urge of Mo Nian's completely dies. However, as long as you swear to be faithful to one woman until the day you die, I can let you off right now, she said icily. Long Chen countered, what do your matters have to do with me? Look after your own man. Mo Nian said your brothers with him, and that brothers are like hands and feet, while women are like clothes. Apparently, you are more important to him than me. If I can't change you, 
I don't have the qualifications to change him. If you have any complaints, go complain to Mo Nyan. Fuck. Mo Nyan. You little bastard. You really are trying to con me. Long Chen roared furiously. What kind of logic was this? They definitely had to be mentally ill. That bastard Mo Nyan had actually used such nonsense reasoning to drag him down. As for Mo Nyan's uncle, one, he just laughingly stood by Mo Nyan's grandfather. He didn't get angry, instead just watching Long Chen. Long Chen's fist was still blocking that woman's palm. The two of them were increasing their power more and more, and the ground was covered in growing spiderweb-like cracks. However, once those cracks spread several hundred meters, they stopped and actually began to fuse back together. Long Chen, you aren't my match. As long you promise to be a faithful man in the future, I won't make it hard on you anymore. But if you refuse, each time I see you and Mo Nian, I'll have to give you a beating, she said. Long Chen looked at Mo Nian and saw his delighted expression as if dragging a person down was a delightful thing. He raged. Mo Nian, you bastard. How dare you abuse me like this? I suppose there's no need for me to keep that matter from the Jiuli secret realm secret anymore. You know, I never told anyone about how you and that woman from the unfettered sect flirted back and forth. For you to treat me like this, are you even a real brother? As soon as Long Chen's voice rang out, Mo Nian's expression completely changed and he raged. When did I ever flirt with a woman from the unfettered sect? Don't spout nonsense, Long Chen. Mo Nian had never imagined Long Chen would be this vicious lying through his teeth without batting an eye. That faked furious expression of his had almost managed to dupe even him. As for his fianke, her expression became icy and she glared at Mo Nian. Mo Nian felt his hair stand on end. Zongying, don't listen to his lies. He's intentionally trying to frame me. That matter is completely fabricated. He explained hastily. Mo Nian, are you even a man? That woman promised you that once you both reached the Xianchen realm, she would give you a bunch of babies. Have you forgotten? For you to say such pitiless words. How are you worthy of her love? Cried Long Chen righteously, barely keeping his delight inside. Mo Nian's face turned green. Long Chen was definitely trying to get him killed. Seeing his Fianke's ashen expression, he knew explaining would be useless. His heart became icy cold. Miss, you should forgive Mo Nian. Think about how much that woman loves Mo Nian. How can you have the heart to separate them? If everyone was together, having babies together spreading the Mo family's branches. How great would that be? Long Chen struck while the iron was still hot. Shut up. You think I would fall for your scheme? You and Mo Nian are both rotten things. And today, I'll first subdue you and then handle Mo Nian. Buzz. Suddenly, heaven and earth rumbled, and countless runes filled the air, revolving around her. Long Chen's pupils shrank. Cry of the heavenly deos. 